two. What is up, people of the world? It's Monday, October 17th. A beautiful fall Monday. It's getting a little bit nice outside. It's finally not hot, which I'm loving here in LA. I don't know where you live, but probably getting a little too cold some places, but not here. But wherever you are, hope you're cozy, because it's time for the H3 podcast. Behind. 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 Thank you, by the way, to HelloFresh. My goodness, we love them. Uh, quick thank you to HelloFresh here at the top of the show. HelloFresh has got your family covered with delicious dinners and so much more. Find quick breakfasts, wholesome snacks, and desserts you can bake with the kids. Get 65% off plus free shipping with code H3TV16 at HelloFresh.com slash H3TV16. What? Fuck. 65. Here, let me do that again. Get 65% off plus free shipping with code H3TV65, because it's 65% off. Correct. At HelloFresh.com slash H3TV65. Nailed it. Thank you. Did Fucking you go? You nailed go that one. I don't usually do in the pre-rolls because they're so quick, but... Just to imagine AB's burrito. You all know what it yeah, looks like. Yeah, it looks like. good. Think Behind. about it. Behind. Oh, and also Honey. Thank you to Honey. Wow. Great. Wow. Wow. So, uh... I shaved, and I hate looking at myself, man. What is it? When you shave, you just totally, at least as you perceive yourself, totally emasculated. I just look like a fat fucking oval-faced freak, dude. And I look fat as hell, dude. Look at that. Look at my face juggle, bro. <laughs> that ain't right. Like, go back again. <laughs> that ain't right at all, man. I mean, what the uh, hell? I'm out here trying to lose weight, uh, and I got to look at this. Oh, God. Uh, Dude, brutal. Jiggle one more time. <laughs> Age restriction incoming. Too sexy. Uh, <laughs> I'm never shaving again. Sometimes you just get the feeling like, I got to get underneath and put some moisturizer there. Sure. In my skin, you know? Yeah. And every time I go... That was a mistake. It wasn't worth it. Theodore saw me after I shaved. He goes, Daddy, why did you shave? <laughs> He's like, I don't like you without <laughs> the beard. <laughs> I go, me neither, son. Me neither. <laughs> yeah, but got a great show here for you guys. Uh, for a change. Finally. Thanks, Zach. And uh, actually, tomorrow I'm doing Jeff's Barbershop, finally. As you can tell, I need a haircut. Nice. We actually have big hair plans. We're going to do Jeff's Barbershop tomorrow. I don't know when that show comes out, but then the following week, we're going to cut all of Jeff's work out mm -hmm. and do a buzz cut dye. I think we, yeah, we showed it. Mm -hmm. With Jackie, okay. Jackie Bieber. Jackie Bieber. Mm -hmm. I don't have any ideas. I wonder if I should just let her do like a beautiful fl floral. Does it need to be something funny and silly? Is that his mug shot? What is that, love? Official merch, baby. Oh, he sells with it's his mugshot? Mug it's funny because it's a mugshot. Well, hold mug. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess the, I get the double meaning. Yeah. Love that for him. Yep. Shout out. Yeah, I don't have any specific ideas to go on my dome. I really wanted the prolapse, but I don't think you're, I don't think that it's too detailed, probably. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta do... Like, make a blanket with that image <laughs> with Howie's face and the prolapse on it. You know, people do that. They do, they started making like merch duvets, which is weird, but nothing. Pillows. I gotta drop the whole, I gotta drop the whole line. I'll pitch that to Howie when he's here. Did you, did you hear back from them yet? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's, it's all planned. Oh, right. I got confused. I'm sorry. Yeah. Howie's in. He's a good man. Howie's a good man. Howie's in. His team was very quick, very nice. Oh, they're the best. Best in the best in the biz. Yep, that's Absolutely. what they say. Yeah. Nobody does it like Howie. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, here's one she did recently. McDonald's gonna have to pay my ass to do that, though. You know what I mean? 
I don't like McDonald's that much, shit. This motherfucker live on McDonald's or what? <laughs> like... He's loving it. <laughs> why are you trying to rep McDonald's so hard? It looks fire, though. Does it? <laughs> These are ones, my dude. It's not that big of a flex. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Like, well, well, D- McDonald's. I mean, like eighty dollars right there. You know, a lot of Big Macs. The, well, the the picture theme is dollar menu, daddy. Okay, so yeah, there you go. This guy's king of the dollar menu. Give me two hundred dollars. <laughs> Damn, bro. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> so uh, let's take a look. What do we got here? Time to load up on Alpha Brain and liver pills. It's going to be a crazy week, and you can't get sick. Yes, Jay's muni- musing. Keep me healthy. Daddy. Eighty dollars, right there. Uh, today we have uh, some great stuff planned. We have a uh, a little bit of a, a Markiplier thing meme. Markiplier's making a OnlyFans apparently. I don't. Know. Oh, I already got banned on TikTok. Record. I don't know. Record. Did you? No. Yeah. Let's see. It's because you were yes. yelling at them. Bullying and harassment. <laughs> <laughs> That's the game. All appeals. That's the, the game. That. It. All right. Hey. Let's see. We'll be back. We'll be we'll back. We'll be back. Yeah, exactly. Somebody in the chat suggested a Coke Zero logo. That's. I don't. I don't fuck with Coke Zero that hard. Teddy Fresh. Teddy Fresh was. I fuck with Teddy Fresh that hard. You could do little bears all over. That'd be cute. That's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. And you could write Ela's husband on the back of your head. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Let's just get to the top of the show. We got all kinds to talk about. Uh, we're not going to waste any more dilly-dallying here. Bye. By the way, this shirt is so nice, Zach. You were right. This is on teddyfresh.com. Love that shirt so much. Just came out. It's a denim button-up shirt with this lovely floral print on it. And it's just so fantastic. Such a nice shirt. So, if you're looking for uh, clothing or anything, coming up on this holiday season, right? TeddyFrist.com, thank you. Also want to say quickly at the top, um, just filmed a podcast for members that's going up tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So if you'd like to watch that, and thank you to all of our members. You guys, I can't express just how great y'all make me feel. Make him feel like a natural woman. You make me feel. What is it? What does it feel like? Like, what are you experiencing right now? You make <laughs> me feel like I have a fat fucking neck. Neck. <laughs> Here, go down a little bit, can you? Which is funnier, this or 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 this? <laughs> <laughs> that's to both worlds <laughs> yes it's me ethan klein the fat fish bitch fucking dope freak <sighs> does it Tell really me. look like i lost weight right now yeah you, yeah, no, you yeah. don't you don't have to lie to me i wouldn't lie you know i wouldn't lie it looks like i lost weight definitely yeah you know, you, not sitting from here. Friday, but like from a month ago, yeah. Not from, fri- yeah, not from Friday. <laughs> not from like <laughs> Ethan, days. Yeah, Ethan, I gotta say, you you actually inspired me. I was getting off the track of my diet, and I was pretty up in weight. And I'm, I actually for a couple ins- weeks, three weeks, I've been better, and my clothes are starting to fit a little better now. So. Oh my goodness, so, Zach! I've inspired Zach. Yeah, that's, that's wonderful. Well, I really. Uh, okay, so it's working. Yeah. It is working. Yeah, it's definitely. It's working. Sometimes I go, I don't know, I'm so fat. I don't. Uh, know you just need to. Working. Anytime you feel like you're going off course, just go look at a episode from like April of this year. Really? It's mm-hmm. very noticeable. Yeah. I'll do that. But of course, leave it to my mom to fuck me up. I go. <laughs> my mom, by the way, has not noticed that I've lost weight. And she's the one that rails me the hardest, right? Huh. About like, you're overweight. You need to lose weight. Do it's not healthy. And, and by the way, my mom, <clears throat> there's something wrong with that woman, dude. She, <laughs> I'm just being real. <clears throat> she's worried about her dogs getting fat. Her dogs are so healthy, and she talks about it all the time. And, like, if we're giving them treats or little bits of food, don't feed them, they're going to get fat. I was like, Jesus, you're fat shaming even your own animals. <laughs> but 
But I go, Mom, so does it look like I lost any weight? And she goes, um, I don't know. I guess. Why? Did you? And I go. Roasted. And I'm like, oh, dude, it's not working. I'm just as fat as I've ever been. I'll be fat forever. <laughs> Baby, no. And I'll never. It's a classic uh, Jewish mother uh, move right there. Hey, it was such a Shanda. <laughs> she really knows how to get me, man. <laughs> that Donna. Nothing like a mother's love, huh? That's right. <clears throat> anyway, it's but... It's mommy makeout day. Actually, <laughs> I've been doing really good. I've been doing every day, walking for an hour on the treadmill. An hour, folks. Wow. Yes, that's 60 big minutes. That's great. Nice. That's very good. Thank you. Are you, like, watching shows while you mm -hmm. do it or something? Yeah, that makes it easy. Yep. I've been watching... Uh, I was watching Lord of the Rings. We talked about that. The last one was great. I was watching the new season of My Hero Academia that just came out. Let's go, dude. That show really? rules. You like that one? It's so good. I couldn't, I couldn't get into it. It, it little... gets better. It starts really juvenile, but actually yeah, now it's It's a little just... too kiddie for me. Yeah, but it get, dude, I, don't, I love that show. Huh. That one came out. Uh, oh, and then there's a new season of Mob Psycho 100. Like, where did that come from? So I'm watching that now. The Mob. Wow, Zach. How? How the fuck did you get that so fast? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the mob. <laughs> I've been doing uh, this long enough. Yeah, that was crazy fast. Yeah, you're, Jesus. You're, you're, I mean, it's impressive, man. Keep it up. Thank you. <laughs> you're zoned in there. But uh, House of Dragon, I haven't seen the new one yet, but looking forward to watching it. Did you guys see, anyone see the new one? Yeah, was it, it, was, good? it was good. It's. I'm not, uh, you it's, said too much already. That it's good? <laughs> <laughs> Spoilers! No, it's. Chill! You said it's good, I appreciate that, but then you said it's, and I said, that's too, oh, too much. I was gonna say, it's the episode before last. Uh, it's the episode before last? Yeah, next. Thanks spoiling the whole season. Best season ever! <laughs> <laughs> next episode is uh, season finale. Actually, I'm loving the dragons, uh, the, the new Game of Thrones, so much. It's like... It's really great good. television, man. Yeah, I hate, I hate that I like it so much, because I was such a Game of Thrones hater, but... Uh, Right? That's I'm still mm. a little resistant. I know, I know. I don't want to get hurt again. I don't yeah. want to get hurt again. But um but yeah, it, it fucking rules. It's really good. Yeah. Uh anyway. Uh so let's let's take a look here. Let's see. So yeah, thank you to our members. New members episode is going up tomorrow morning on Tuesday, the see you next Tuesday podcast, as you guys know, after much deliberation. And i discussing motivation. I, I'm trying to motivate people. I says, here's the things I've learned in my long... Get your fucking ass up and work. <laughs> that, that's it boils down yeah. to that at all. It says, Me, I, Ethan Klein, will share all the wisdom I have with you, my friends. It's a really short episode. It's about three minutes long. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't take long for him to power through all of that. I reviewed it last night. Um, I got some good things out of it, but it is very brief. You it didn't just, really have it, a lot to all say. All it is is get the fuck up and work, <laughs> bitch. It seems like nobody, nobody wants to Nobody wants to days. work, bitch. <laughs> Close the trunk! <sighs> no, nah, I was just giving some advice, like if you... Like advice I give my younger self, you know? Like if there's a wasp nest on your porch, you know? Grab don't, it. Don't hit it with it. the hose, yeah. No, it's more about like work and life, Dan, and love. No, I listened to it. I you did? Yeah. You listened to the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, all three minutes. Oh, you fuck. <laughs> it's not three minutes, just so you guys know. All right, <clears throat> let's move on. Thank you guys. So that's there for our members and everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what is this? What do you guys think about this? Subscriber bell notification. I was just going through analytics over the weekend. Mm -hmm. It says subscribers who turned on all notifications for your channel. Typical YouTube is 10 to 30 percent. We're at 12.7, you guys. We are on the tits, or not tits, bottom. The ass bot. Tits would be the top, right? Breasts. Yeah. We're on the freaking bottom, they dude. They say 10 to 30 percent is average. That actually kind of shocks me how high that is. 30% is insane for all notifications on? Yeah. 
ten percent. Yeah, I mean, it take. I don't have that on for any channel. I'll be honest. I have it on for our channel so that I know <laughs> <laughs> when the episode's going up, and that's about it. Yeah. But let's get that up. Maybe I don't know. Turn on the click the bell or some shit. But you got to click the bell five times now. I don't know. And then there's another one. Subscribers who turned on all notifications from your channel and enabled YouTube notifications. Oh, come on, guys. How many hoops we got to jump through? What does that even mean? So they go, it has all notifications on. Right. And you have, I can tell you when something's uploaded. Like, apparently, without that on, this is basically meaningless. I don't know. Because, you know, on Apple, you got to turn on notifications. Yeah, is it just Apple. notifications outside of the app? Yeah, so it can pop uh, up. Like, oh, hey, I, see, I see, I see. Come on, guys. I'm going to check this, okay? If we don't have, if this doesn't go up by next week, on, on Monday of next week, I'm posting my fucking nudes. You guys see that Markiplier did an OnlyFans? He goes, if you get my, if you get my podcast <laughs> at number one, <laughs> I will show you my cog. That's a pretty good segue. You want to just go into that? No, we'll we'll build up to it. I'll okay. keep threatening, and then we'll okay. we'll get there. So I'm the I'm uh, this is Etherplier, and I'm saying, let's get this up, or I'll show you my prolapse, or I'll get it up if you know what I'm saying. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my, that's it. You guys have been now. You all been charged, <laughs> and that's that. <laughs> Oh, this was a huge thing that broke this morning, and I you okay the, on the H Street Pod. I, I mean, I probably consider it if they invited me. Bitch, you were invite. You were cordially invited. How dare you Wait, call him why? bitch? Don't, Don't talk to him like that. <laughs> no, I just mean the because fuck is wrong with you? How much more clear do I have hey, to make it that I want you on the podcast? <sighs> Don't play coy with me. I'll put out the whole red carpet. I will carpet the whole studio red. Yes, yes, yes. Ethan Klein, the boys over there. The blue, <laughs> bro, a blue carpet for Ninja. The blue oh, carpet. Oh, roll out the true blue. queen. <laughs> Ninja, we want you back on the show so bad. We love you, man. Um, because I, I actually, I did message him shortly after we started our We Love Ninja arc. Arc, yeah. <laughs> and he didn't respond, so I just figured that he didn't want to, right? That's what that kind of means. Hello. He's a busy man. He might have yeah, I don't it, care. I'm, I don't, listen, in this business... You can't take stuff personally. If you invite someone to do something and they don't respond, that's no. And it's fine. It's, you don't, you know, it's, it's hard to say no sometimes, so you just ignore it. I've been there. It's so hard to say no to people. That's why I ignore people. It's big of you. Would you rather get a no or a ignore? No. See it? See, I ignore people. <laughs> For sure. Because <laughs> you don't, it's just, you know, you don't, that way you never have to say no. It's brilliant. It's a it's a, it's <laughs> it's a, a nice brilliant, little carve. It's out. a life hack you found out. Yeah, just look at you, you. You never. Next time you need to so, tell someone no, just ignore them forever. <laughs> For more advice like this, tune in to see you next Tuesday tomorrow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Ninja, you're invited, man. Please, I sent you a DM. I don't know. I'm not even sure how else to reach you, but please, man. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello. 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 You <laughs> come on the show. We'll play quads, dude. You should play with Ninja if he comes on. You guys should like do it. Oh, all, I would love some it. Fortnite. Oh, and you'll be like fucking up constantly, and it'll be bailing what? you oh, out. Pro, stop. He could teach you how to hold the controller like ghost style. Hold it over your hands. Guide you. Ooh. All right, you better end it before he's, he's going to run out of breath for the next 10 minutes. Although, if yeah. you've been walking for an hour a day, you can have some no, uh, didn't help. lung capacity. No? Okay. Maybe not. It's, not that, it's not that serious. <laughs> <sighs> what else we got here? Oh, there was so, many, so much fun fan art based on our sculpture 
segment, which, by the way, was such a fun segment. I went back and watched that. Hilarious. And it was just so fun. You guys did so good. This one actually looks like me. Doesn't it? Oh, wow. Yeah, that is somebody who actually knows how to sculpt. <laughs> you but see it? Don't cut your guys' self short here. I mean, this guy's probably not. He probably... Yeah, up no, I assume. Thing. Yeah, it's pretty fucking legit. No, mine's better. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> I thought so. I do. I do appreciate you replying everything on Twitter with the sculpture I made. Oh God. <laughs> when I, I, that's how I, bro. I'm so over social media now. All I do is I find one picture I love, and I just post it in response to everything for a week. Last time it was like AB's thing and mm -hmm. it was Ela Stomp. Ela Stomp, exactly. So that's it. Okay. That's all you're getting at me from Twitter from now on. Oh, that's not true. I tweeted about Amaranth. So in between. But I'm so over social media. I go, I go, why am I here again? Mm -hmm. No, I, I use social media, but like writing stuff on social media. I go, Twitter's a rat hole. <laughs> He's right. The I mean, one good Jordan Peterson take. It's literally just a liability for me at this point. Like, mm -hmm. nothing good comes from me being on Twitter. Only bad things. Of me sharing my opinions on Twitter, right? That is correct. So, like, at best, you get a nice meme and everyone's like, yay, that was fun. And at worst, you lose all your sponsors. And even when you... Right. <laughs> and even when you have a, a nice meme tweet that everybody is liking, like... 75% of the replies will be like, you drink the blood of babies, you fucking yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right, exactly. Why Twitter is insane. Yeah, totally. But I'm, I'm just, it was so much fun. Good, great job, you guys. <laughs> Round of applause, man. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but something about this one just speaks to my soul, as you guys know. It didn't win, obviously. That was Ian. <laughs> But something about this one just... I'm loving all the photoshops with your head <laughs> replaced with these. <laughs> yeah, where are those? Let's pull some of those up. Sure. There's one that cracked me up. I was, I found myself just staring at this thing over the weekend. Yeah, really? Sitting and I... Really gotcha, just huh? gazing into the abyss. <laughs> it's gonna start talking back to you pretty soon. The endless darkness, I says... Red rum. Yeah, this one rules. Did you see this one? Red rum. <laughs> that... My favorite Ethan's Wax. Dude, that's awesome on Berserk's body. <laughs> yeah, on Guts. Guts. Let's go. That was Lena's, right? Yeah. Because yeah, he has the white piece. streak like that in his hair, so Yo, it's perfect. Oh, that's fire. <laughs> awesome. Love that. Yeah, people started putting these on my face and stuff, and that yeah, was so fun. Uh, here is one more. I just found this one while looking for other ones, but it's pretty cool. Multiverse. <laughs> the H3 multiverse, exactly. <laughs> Here's all the different Ethans that could be hosting the show right now. Feast your eyes, guys. <laughs> well, this one actually, is this, this must be Ian's. This one does look like me the most. Uh, that one is Ian's, yeah. <laughs> Lena's. <laughs> That's Lena's. Lena's is wild. <laughs> Olivia, you got fucking issues, man. That's I don't know. Sam. You got, oh, that's Sam. Yeah. Wait, which one was yours? Mine this is one. to the li yeah. The alien. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you. No, I stand by that looking exactly like you. <laughs> Fair AB. Oh, and these two are budding up. Yep. Nice. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Okay. They look romantic. Yeah, lovers. Every budding beauty. <laughs> <laughs> so, um,. And then here's one more thing at the top of the show here before we dive into a story. I was just blown away by how this film looks. <laughs> Another fucked up audio edit. Uh, one more time. I was just blown away. I was just... Right out the gate. I was just blown <laughs> What did they cut? It's mid word? <laughs> they took like a T from another word and finished the duh. Stitched it all together. Holy fuck, man. Behind. Behind. <laughs> I was just blown away by how this film looks. Looks? What the fuck? By how this film looks. By how this film looks. I was just blown I, away by how this film looks. <laughs> I'm convinced at this point that there's one motherfucker 
Yeah, I think there's some producer in the in the marketing department, and I, I I'm kind of leaning towards Marvel it not universe. even being the editors. I think it's some producer that's like, make it shorter, make it shorter, make it shorter, and they're like, I can't make it any shorter. And he's like, Yeah, you can. <laughs> just chop it up. Just remove all the space between the words. Just take this word over here. Well, they have space requirements, obviously. Right. So Into there's just somebody who just does not I'm, give a fuck. I mean, at the end of the day, you got to do the best with what you have. But yeah. I still. I'm still just not sure that that's the best they, they can deal with it. <laughs> I was just blown away. Like, there's no way. I have this film. Looks. I was just blown away. I have this film. Looks. <laughs> I'm just blown away. By how this film looks. By how this film looks. It looks like she. It sounds like she's doing a scale. By how this film looks. Blown away. By how this film looks. <laughs> There it it is. will be difficult to say goodbye to Lori Strode. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, play the original one, Zach, that started it all. It was the, uh... In the Marvel. This is the first time for me in the Marvel universe. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because that clip went viral. Yeah. But a lot of these ones we found... Hi, my name is Aquafina, and I am in the movie Shang-Chi. <laughs> it's actually worse. They're actually worse. Um, as business Pinocchio. Uh, uh, play that one again. As business Pinocchio. That sounds actually sounds fine. It's an incredibly rich opportunity. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there you go. It sounds like an AI voice generated yeah. Tom Hanks. It's an incredible rich. It's like the TikTok narrator voice. Mm. Leaving my friendships behind. <laughs> <laughs> that one's the best. Why did they stretch it? Okay, so okay, here you guys go. Yeah, so here's what uh, I would look like. I oh my uh, absolutely lord, absolutely fucking this is ugh. horrible. I've been a it's like a burn victim. Yeah, it does look like that. Mm. It's that's like, just that that's like, just a photo. That's just you, bro. It's I don't hers. Know nice about. try, dude. <laughs> this looks like someone who had like their whole face ripped off. Yeah, by like by a like chimp. a chimpanzee. <laughs> yeah. And had to have their whole face reconstructed with some dead guy skin. Well, yep. You know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. It was your skin, though. It's okay, Ethan's so it's my, face it's not reconstructed on right. someone else's mm -hmm. bone structure. Mm -hmm. Okay, interesting. <laughs> that I will take. Here is a uh, is a me. Thank you, Lena. Is a me. The fucking <laughs> Mario brother on heroin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It does look like Mario. Oh. You gave me a fat mustache, Lena. He's so cool. It looks realistic, though. Yeah, that one also, it looks like, like I have person. an earring here, which is the hot glue, which kind of gives adds an interesting flavor to it. It's a me, a fucking uncle who the fuck your little daughter. <laughs> the left <laughs> uncle. It's oh yeah. I mean <laughs> right yeah. I'm not sure what else you could have done with that one. Yeah. Wow. Get it out of here. Looks good. Oh, that is a generous interpretation of this monstrosity. <laughs> that looks good. It does look pretty good, huh? I wouldn't mind looking like that. If only. <laughs> I could be so beautiful. Uh, there's another column here. Oh, wait, no, that's all. That's it, yeah. That's it. Yeah, it was fun, man. That was a great segment. That's so much fun there. Sorry. Oh, no, there was, actually. Sorry, there was. Sorry, there was. Oh. I was just blown away by how this film looks. I... Uh, wait. Yeah, the... Here, there's a, there's more. Uh, is it... Oh, there is a... Shit. It's just arrows. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at, uh, AB's... Turned me into... Something. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, it's kind of like Yassified. Dance. <laughs> okay, Queen. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> the pouty lips. Slaying. Go off, King. Oh, Cam made me into a happy. Uh. <laughs> man. You look like a. <laughs> like a curd. A curd? Because <laughs> it Name looks like Wally, Wally. P. And then this one won, of course, and, uh, well... It's not I that far off. Tell, yeah. That's me, all right. That ain't me, that is someone else, man. Yeah, it's not quite there, but... It's a me, yeah. The guy who would've fucked my sister's daughter. Oh, so shit, cool. sorry. 
molesting uncle joke. <laughs> what? Because I look like the molesting uncle. Adult just, incest. Uh, are you talking about somebody specific or just your kind of idea of what a molesting uncle looks like? Well, there's a, the trope. Right. The yeah. archetype of the molesting uncle. Right, and you just feel like you fulfill. No, I don't fulfill that. Brother this picture of me fulfills love? it. This isn't me, Dan. I just want to make that clear. I think that guy looks friendly. Yeah, that's, the, that's how he gets him. Oh, okay. Public <laughs> nudity calls are interesting. Nah. I'm sorry. Yeah, bad taste. Bad taste. Sorry. <laughs> I don't okay. know. It should be the name of the show. All right, let's move it on here. Moving on to our other ad, because we are at 30 minutes. Are you serious right <laughs> I'm now? I'm deadly serious, <laughs> dude. Are you, are you freaking right kidding, now? dude? Deadly serious. All right, well, we only have one, so let's just thank them, and you know what it is. It's honey. Honey. They so sweet. I love me some honey. And by the way, with Christmas holiday shopping coming around the corner, you're definitely going to want honey on your phone or browser because it is going to save you so much freaking money this holiday season. Gabish. Uh, I'm finding codes like on a weekly basis. Uh, thanks to Honey, manual searching for coupon codes is a thing of the past. Honey is free shopping tool. Scours the internet for promo codes and applies the best one it finds to your cart. Look at all these legitimate savings. This is our savings, by the way. What was this one? Five bucks? Uh, five books off of, uh, some, uh, some energy drink stuff from a fan. Ooh, free money. Mm -hmm. Imagine you're shopping at one of your favorite sites, and when you check out, the honey button appears, and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait a few seconds as honey searches for coupons it can find for that site. And if honey finds a working coupon, you're going to watch the price drop magically. Now, listen... I hate buying shit on the internet when you know there's a code out there. You just know there's a code, man. You know, and you go to those shady website and then you find a code and it, it never works. And also those websites are super fucking shady. You don't ever want to be on that website. So you get like a... So you get some bullshit on your computer, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but honey saves on clothing tech, food, furniture, you know? You don't even have to think about it. Dude. I've saved anywhere from like five bucks to literally like $500 on a big furniture purchase. So easy to use. It's actually insane not to have it. Honey doesn't just work on desktop, it works on your iPhone too. Just activate it. And what was that? It was like super loud of me. I think Lena might have accidentally uh, oh. opened the... Just there. activate it on Safari on your phone and save on the go. If you don't already have Honey, you are going to be straight up missing out on free savings. And by getting, you'll be doing yourself a solid and supporting this show. Thank you. I use Honey. I love Honey. It's on all my computers, all my browsers. Uh, get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash h3tv. We love you, Honey. Thank you. Yes! Oh! Slay! Oh. Oh. Slay! 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 Yes, yeah, so we're setting up an interview with Mark, Mark Bradley Martin. Uh-huh. And I think, you know, that could be a good way to win back some of the, the alpha males that we've lost, or the chads, or the men in general. Dahmers. Because you know, what's his female audience? It's got to be like zero. Probably. Brad's? Yeah, this guy made close to zero. Zero to ten percent, I would yeah. guess. So this is my way to speak back to them. Mm -hmm. You used to be my people. What happened? Come. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's a good show. It's funny. <laughs> we worked very hard to make it funny. All right, you guys want to talk about the Amaranth thing? It's so sad and fucked up. I mean, maybe we could... You guys probably all heard about this. It was trending. Big trending story. Um, I'm wondering if there's something funny we could cover first, but maybe we should just get it done. Why don't we do the Markiplier thing since you kind of set it up already? If you want to do something a that little light, be, lighter. Yeah. I wonder if we should start light. Let's do that. Let's start light. 
Mm -hmm. And we'll do the amaranth thing, which is a little bit of a trigger warning, or very much of a trigger warning on that one. But I will. We're going to do the Markiplier thing. So, um, hey, H3 crew, can I get a shout out today for my 21st birthday? What's up, Katie? 21. 21. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ethan, for getting me through college with the pod. You are absolutely welcome. Congratulations, Katie. Get through that. Mm-hmm. 21 birthday. Don't drink too much. I'm telling you, man. That 21st birthday is cursed because there's like all this societal pressure to go and get so fucked up. And I'm just saying, don't do that. Like, don't, don't be pressured into over drinking, you know, just drink what you want, have fun, especially in college, man. It's like, God damn. It's like people's whole personality in college is just drinking. So don't, you know, don't give in. Just, just have a beer. Too much wine. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so Markiplier, let, let me get a read on here. Um, let's do a poll. Let's do a Markiplier poll. Okay. So I know, I'm going to test the edges of this here before we get into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see. Markiplier, you guys probably all know who that is. A uh, popular gamer. Actually... Has some funny videos. I thought the Smasher Pass Pokemon one. And a lovely guy, a beautiful guy. I've met him. He's been on the podcast a while ago. Uh, actually, me and Ela went out for to dinner with him and his girlfriend. Lovely couple. Uh, What's the poll? Markiplier, are you a fan? 33, uh, yeah. Fan, are, do you, are you an active fan of Markiplier's? Are you... An active, are you an active Markiplier fan? Are you... Yes, love him will be one option. Uh, I used to watch him. No, no, no. It's yes or no. You're starting a bad yes. poll there, Dan. A lot of people I feel like this fame. is a bad poll. Yes or no? There's not enough shades of gray here. I'm not looking for nuance, dude. A lot of people in chat saying we love Mark. Okay, okay, good to know. Good to know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's just see. Let's see. We love Mark, right, folks? Love Mark of Fire. Nope. We should just take the next segment. See, people are already <laughs> demanding more options. Bad poll, bad poll. Told you. I'm not looking for people's nuanced takes, man. Okay, so 75% don't watch him. Okay, but we love Mark Blair, but... So he put out a video... Do oh, you guys know that he's called Milkiplier? Milkiplier? No, I'm not familiar. Should I tell this Milk. story? I don't know if it's ever been publicly told, or maybe it has, I don't know. This rumor started... This is a rumor, let me just say. 100% speculative... And let's Wait. just say it's probably not true. Is this a good idea? <laughs> The milk applier thing? Yeah. <laughs> Where did you even hear this? Or can you not say? I'll say I don't give a fuck about anything Milk. anymore. Let's go. I heard this from, uh, oh shit. This seems like a bad idea. I'm not seeing any milk when I'm Googling it. I don't, I don't know what, I don't know where this is going, but it, I, I already don't like it. Why? It's the story I told you. The milk applier. <laughs> yeah. Before the show, I'm gonna tell the story because it's so fantastical. I'm not gonna say where I heard it, but uh, YouTube buddies of mine back, back, back in the day, they used to call him Milkiplier, and they said they were at a party with, or I don't even know if they were at the party or somebody they know was there. I'm telling you, this is not true. Mill. Okay. And apparently, Mark had like a threesome with <laughs> two girls there at the party, and he came out screaming, demanding milk. Because he was hi he was dehydrated, not water, but milk, and he hit like a whole gallon of milk. And since then, uh, <laughs> everyone calls him milk applier, or so they did anyway. It's not everyone. that bad. Yeah, I mean, but all of my friends at the time were just referring to him as milk applier. That's it. You know, it's like way too fantastical, right? People are saying they've heard that. People are saying. Okay. Th they've heard that story before. Probably exists somewhere in all of the hours of content. But like Blue Noah and stuff. But is it possibly true that you come out and chug milk? 
if you're dehydrated? I hope so. That's, That's a good story. Wild. That's wild. It's possible, but I don't see someone demanding milk. He's like, I need milk. Yeah. <laughs> In Sweden, people drink milk like water, so I think it's. Possible. Is that right? Well, when yeah. we were kids, we used to have glasses of milk with dinner. Right? Was no, that just you're, me? no, you're right. The yeah, milk some, lobby. Sometimes when you're a kid. Exploding milk. Some, some milk with ass. It was like important. No, it's not that bad of a story. I agree. I don't know why you guys made it sound so bad. Because it's unsubstantiated I and I don't know what that. the source is. Yeah. I says this story's not true. Right. But everyone I know calls it <laughs> But milk here it is and go repeat it. Everybody's saying uh, <laughs> Super Mega. I'm not saying. Is that who you heard it from? I don't even know who Super Awesome is. <laughs> what? <laughs> You mix a mega awesome nerd. Super, super mega, mega awesome nerd. What? <laughs> I don't know who super awesome is. Is that the Zitz McGee one? Yeah. Super mega. <laughs> I don't know Matt anything Watson. about them. <laughs> Matt Watson, right. And Tits Ryan McGee. McGee. Friends of the show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Friends of the show. I don't know who they are. Yes, or their me names. to a chair. I speak. I am in, in big trouble. So that's milk applier. That's it. It's not that bad. It's kind of to be in big trouble. It's kind of fire, right? So if you type milk applier, nothing comes up. I wasn't seeing anything. Hmm. Huh. Well, we're gonna have to change that. I think you just did. Here, let's see. Milk. I typed milk applier and mark applier. Um. Yeah, I don't see anything. Interesting. There's a. Yeah. There's like a Tumblr thread, but I don't know if it's related. About milk? <laughs> it said, didn't Markiplier use a breast pump on himself and one of Pewds' videos? Oh, see, that's a whole different milk thing. Yeah. But that also could lend. But anyway, milk applier. I mean, that's okay. So the man likes milk. What can you do? <laughs> Maybe in this unsubstantiated It's ringer. not a true story. There's another kind of milk. <laughs> How much more clear can I make it? This story is not true. <laughs> Oh, here. Is this milk applier? No, no, no. This is just <laughs> something random. <laughs> this looks is like a threesome. This is what, has uh, milk on him. This is what came up. Markiplier leaked threesome. Why is nobody talking about it? It's Mark covered in milk. Yeah. With Jack Septicai and Ethan... I forget his last name. How are you, how are you gonna milk an oat? There it is. This is the... And th this is who came out of the uh, room after him. And this incredible fanfic. Can you imagine the fanfic here, boy? Ooh, mama, let's get that. Let's get some milk going. I'm not lying. Someone says I'm lying. I, li I, I just heard the story. Someone says that's kind of hot. You see? Anyway, that's Mark Plier, Milk Plier. And so, um, I mean, this kind of actually kind of makes me think this is real. Why is there a picture of him chugging a two-gallon bottle of milk? There's another one, too, on top of that. There's another one? From a different day. Show me. It's on top. Why is this man drinking so much milk? There's another type of milk. Or, like, you go cow style. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some milk applier stuff on Twitter, but it's unrelated to him. Oh. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's not this story. Yeah. Exploding milk. Well, I think one thing we can agree <laughs> about Mark is that he has a storied past with milk. Yes. In one way or the other. Uh, thank you, by the way, to Devin Jones. Happy anniversary, Melissa. Yeah, 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 thank yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Shout out, Melissa. Shout out. Can my girlfriend Alice get a birthday shout out? She's watching at home. Uh, hello, Alice. Hello. Hi. Hi. It's squeezy. Hello. Hello. Hi. Happy birthday, Alice. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so anyway, Mark put out a video today demanding that if his fans get him to the top of not only Apple's uh, chart for podcasts, but also Spotify, okay? If not, then he, or if they do, then he's releasing an OnlyFans. I guess that's like a, that's a, they all want to see his dick is what's happening here. Are people excited to see his dick? I, I don't know. 
I mean, that's what OnlyFans means, right? Is because it can. I mean, not necessarily. But Mark has done. Lewd, lewd I remember photos. Mark has yeah. done tasteful nude calendar before. Right. He talked so, about it so in the video. So if he if he says I'm going to make an OnlyFans, if y'all go spam the fuck out of the podcast charts for me, he's talking about showing cock. Thank you for the gifted Blue Phoenix. Thank you for the gifted. Like, like, am I wrong? That's the assumption. That's the presumption, right? You're gonna see his dick. Yeah, I think so. I think well, that's tasteful. implied. Because if yeah, he, maybe. if they do it, and this man doesn't show cock, there's gonna be hell to pay. Mm. Well, well, you remember when balls. Doja Cat didn't show her tits? <laughs> right. <laughs> <Remember> that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Everyone got saying what? What love? I said he could at least show some balls. Let's see some fucking balls at least, dude. Yeah. I'm trying to see all of it. Yeah. See balls. Preferably. No one wants to see balls. Just balls? No one wants to see just balls. You want to see the whole schlong. You want to see the dong. Yeah, I want to see. I, I agree. I'll take what I'll, the what dong I, I plier. Yeah. I want to see nut a plier. Oh, someone, people keep saying Meat Canyon, friend of the show, love that guy, made a video about Mark chugging milk. How odd is that? It's clearly a thing. Dude loves his milk. Hmm. Um, so, so here it is. Let's watch it. it kind of inspired me because obviously, you know, I have a podcast and I'm not begging anybody to go fuck up the charts for me. I wouldn't be mad if you guys did, though. You know, it's not like we spent a lot of effort on this show trying to get on the charts. Right. You want to impress me, Mark? Get on the Edison charts. Mm. Okay. Right. Ignore my hair. I just went for a run. All right, here's the... Okay, I'm, I'm, I, I'm... I would be ignoring it if you didn't mention it. Now I gotta look at his hair. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh, if you want someone to ignore something, don't say ignore it. Oh, uh, look at my hair. I need more AC. Sorry, I'm just typing them. Anyway. Ignore my hair. I just went for a run. All right, here's the deal. I will start an OnlyFans if you meet my conditions. If you've been watching my ch So his fans really want to see him naked, because I have a feeling if I did that, our ranking would drop. I have a, I have a question for you, my fans. If you get me to the number one spot, I will show you my cock. <laughs> Actually, people are saying his hair looks nice. That's what bothers me about that statement. Don't you understand? His he knows his hair looks good. It looks sultry and shit. Like he knows that. Ignore my hair. I just went for a run. All right. Like you know, but he doesn't have your hairline. You know, his hairline's not that bad though. I know, well, but it's not yours. Pull it back. Let's see. True. Mm -hmm. Pull it back. Phony. Ignore my hair. I just went for an hour-long walk on the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. But you know, dude, you knew you were turning on the camera, right? You could pull your hair back. You could dry your hair. He was in a hurry. Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Uh, if you get me to the number one spot, I will prolapse my anus on Twitter. I'd pay fat stacks for Ethan OnlyFans. Okay, Joel. What do I got to do? You want me to gape for you? Rat hole. <laughs> my rat hole. That's what I call my asshole, my rat hole. All right, here's the deal. I will start an OnlyFans if you meet my conditions. If you've been watching my channel for a while, this may not be much of a surprise. You'll probably just roll your eyes and say to yourself, oh, there goes Mark again, getting naked when nobody asked. But if you're relatively new to my channel, this might be slightly confusing or concerning. But rest assured, I know what I'm doing. In the past, I made a lovely little calendar called Markiplier's Tasteful Nudes Calendar, where I did exactly as the title describes, and I sold it for charity. It was so successful that we sold over 38,000 of these calendars, of which I spent eight days of my life hand signing each one. My OnlyFans will be... Okay, brag. Okay, nice, good. I'm glad you have fans. <laughs> How many of the, our trading cards did we sell? I'm hot and I made money for it, he just said. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pissed, bro. This guy's gonna fuck up the charts for me. For hardworking podcasters like myself.
Pretty much the same, except working I class podcast. Salt, salt like of the earth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I work the fields, bitch. <laughs> Who are you to come out here? Um, <laughs> It, but all of the proceeds will be donated to charity. However, I will only make an OnlyFans if you meet the following conditions. Number one, you listen to Distractable. In the description, you'll find links to the podcast that Bob Wade and I made together. But you don't just need to listen to Distractable. That would be too easy. You need to listen so hard with enough new listeners that you launch Distractable to number one on both the Apple podcast charts and Spotify, thereby dethroning Joe Rogan. Believe it or not, we have... Yeah, I guess it's pretty smart to go... But, like, you know... Do you guys ever just leave my podcast on repeat? Like, what's up? Do you guys even care about me? Just saying. <laughs> yeah, if you guys cared, you would already be be doing it. But anyway, here's the point that I'm talking about this, Okay. We need to step up our game. This is pretty good marketing, I'll admit, by Mark to fudge the rankings up. And, uh, well, I... We need to do better, guys. We, we need to be more... We need to figure out how are we going to get top of the charts. And, uh, well, I've got an idea. Okay? Here it is. Uh-oh. So Ethan is walking away. He's putting a law He's though. putting a microphone on. I'm not sure what's going on. It's some kind of discussion. Dan is trying to tell him no. He's pushing Dan away. He's telling him, I got this. Don't worry about it. Okay, there seems to be some back and forth going on. I'll keep you guys updated. Oh, oh. Okay. We're unbuttoning a, unbuttoning. a button. Unbuttoning going on. Only fans, here we come. Whoa. Can you hear me? We're good, yeah. Hello, my fans. <laughs> Are we ready? We look good? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hi. <laughs> my name's Ethan Klein. And if you don't go to the Apple Store and po Spotify and spam the fuck out of my podcast, I'm going <laughs> to post my dick and balls on Twitter. <laughs> Unlike Markiplier, you have to do something to not see me naked. Let's face it, nobody wants to see my cock. And I will release that for I will prolapse my anus on Twitter. And I'll title it my picture I'll do title it some shit like here's a picture of Bruce to trick your ass into thinking it's wholesome. <laughs> and you're going to see my gaping asshole unless you fucking assholes you ingrates, go to iTunes and Spotify and spam that fucking podcast of ours. I notice your hair's not wet. Look here, no excuse water. my hair. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just, sorry, excuse me here. <laughs> Pardon me, I just went for a... I just walked on the treadmill for an hour. <laughs> Sexy? <laughs> We're not so good. Like John Barry. Wayne Gacy. <laughs> oh shit. That's how Mark's hair is for him. My hair, you need so much water to get my hair wet. Excuse me. Hi. My name's Etha Plyer. And I will show you my freshly shaven cock, asshole, and balls. I need you all to go to iTunes right now and give Mute. H3 Podcast five stars. Five fucking stars, bitch. And write a review, goddammit. Or I'll, you will see my fucking... Nah, I'll prolapse with shit in my ass. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I won't even clean my anus before I prolapse. And then when you're done with that, go to Spotify and do the same goddamn thing. Or I'm gonna pain Olympics my cock right off on Twitter. 
<laughs> you ever seen a man chop his cock off? You will. Unless I'm number one by the end of the day. Excuse me. Pardon me. Looking so bad. Hi. <laughs> my name's Ethan Klein. I can literally use my hair like a like a mop, dude. The water's running. Oh no. You see that? That's so gross. Ethan is wiping his hair on the table. No, I'm mopping it because it's spilling. It's also picking up all the dust, I bet. <laughs> You're gonna meet Jeff with Can a they bunch see of this? Of, uh... <laughs> but it's pretty incredible, right? Stay in character. I have a party. I got party tricks. Your milk applier, I'm mop applier. Way <laughs> sexier and cooler than Mark. Hi. I'm going to post my three foot long, my three inch long pubes. Have you ever seen a cock where the pubes are twice as long as the cock? That's what you'll see if you don't get my podcast at number one. Okay. Thank you. Do we do comedy here or what, guys? Is this a show or what, Mark? That's why we're number 26 in the game, baby. No, we're 12. Or, well, we were 12. I think. Depends what yeah. list you look at. Dep that's just what they told me. <laughs> it, it, why you gotta... it depends if you promote on the subway uh, surfer. Right, that's true. Yeah, true. Yo, Markiplier would never. Oh, get that out of here, Ian. <laughs> There it is. So, um, please, guys, five stars on all apps. That's it. Or I'm making an OnlyFans. You've been warned. <laughs> it's a threat. I will be shoving hamburger meat up my ass on OnlyFans. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please. That's probably the only way I could have a legitimate career on OnlyFans is if I did some weird fetish stuff. Please do it for me, people. I will she's shove gonna, taco meat up my fucking ass if you're gonna know, make me film it. If you <laughs> yeah. all don't do that, so I'm gonna get one of those cameras, one of those uh, colonoscopy cameras, in my asshole and mm -hmm. shove taco meal, taco beef at the camera. Right. If okay. you do not give me five stars. Eat out my ass. Eat out my. Oh, Amaranth is live. That's interesting. I'm watching. She hasn't started. I'm monitoring yet. it. It just says starting soon. Oh, okay. So I guess yeah. Keep an eye on that. Yes. Thank you. You can stop. You can stop spamming that yes. now, though. Thank there you. it is. That's my thank little so uh, Markiplier gag. There, Milkiplier. We love you. <laughs> Mopiplier is probably the funniest shit I've ever heard. Oh, Mopiplier. Okay. So yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's me. So I have a trick. I, you know, I, I have, I have talents too. Yeah. Hi, my name is <laughs> Mopiplier. I have fucking thick ass hair. There it is. Um, so I expect great things from you guys, okay? All right, let's get. I guess here, well, let's let's slow it down a little bit here. We're gonna talk about amaranth now, which is a serious slow it topic. Down. And also a trigger warning: it does have discussions of uh, 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 domestic abuse. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Dan. And it can be, it is very traumatic. I mean, it was very painful, very, very hard to watch. Now, Amaranth is actually a friend of the show. You guys probably recognize her. The last time she was on the show was with Hassan. We were doing a special episode of Leftovers. I think she was actually, the Cracker on, episode. she was on more recently than that even. But that was a legendary wait, episode. Wait, oh, sh when was she? She called in uh, when she was talking about another recent shitty experience she had uh, of the stalker that was like oh. showing up at her house and stuff and it was making a lot of news. Oh, right. Yeah. So she's, I just trying to find a picture that's like relatively safe for work. 
uh, so you guys can recognize her. Yeah, she's a friend of the show, and she's super nice, super sweet, and just a really smart business lady. You know, she's well respected in the creator space just because she's she grinds harder than anyone, and she just has uh, created a really prolific uh, and prosperous business for herself. And um, there's been a rumor for a long time, like she's she has outwardly been single. She says, I don't have a significant other, I don't have a boyfriend, I don't have a husband. But I guess some fucking weirdos dug up like a marriage certificate between her and someone that says she was married. And so there's been this on and off speculation that she has a husband, she doesn't have a husband. Because all these incels are obsessed with her because it's like, oh, well, she's just lying to get more money. Which I don't really understand that charge. It's like, she's not going to fuck you, bro. It's like, she's selling entertainment. Also, it's a fantasy, obviously. So why do you need to know if she's married or not, you weirdo? Yeah. And so anyway, she went live. What was it last night or the night before? You sent it out, and I, you sent this link of the of a video to live stream fails. Yeah, I, no, I, she was actually live when I sent it to you. <coughs> right. Yeah, it was happening live. Um, she did a twenty four hour stream, and that's where everything came out. Yeah. And it was just so jarring to see because she's always like put together, right? She's always super put together on stream mm -hmm. and never revealing any details about her private life. And she went from like revealing nothing to revealing everything. And when I saw this, I immediately went over to her live because I was like, this gotta be a bit. Like this can't be real. Mm -hmm. Is this the one I saw? Um that was on live stream fails? I'm not exactly sure. It's this was the first clip sent in chat. Okay. And so <clears throat> Well, here, here's what I saw. So, and again, this is, can be a little triggering for people who are sensitive to this kind of thing. So just probably skip this whole segment if, if, if you are. Why did you say you were going to kill my dogs? Leave the house. Okay, I can leave the, I, you know what? Actually, I don't, I shouldn't leave the house because my dogs are here. We'll take the dogs and leave. You're asking the question I'm telling you and you're interrupting my fucking, uh, like telling you, literally, literally. What are you saying? You just told me you were gonna kill dogs if I didn't do a 24 hour stream. Nope, did not say that. Now you're just fucking being a liar. I'm not I just- said it. I said I'm going to tell you what I said in terms of the earlier. Are you saying you did not say that? I tried to tell you what I heard from you. And you're, then you called me a liar. Then you tell me what did you So, did he not know that she was... No, he didn't. Yeah, so, there's no way he knew. Yeah, what it... Really? ...was, was she was muted for a while, and she was on the other side of the room, and then at a certain point, she sat down, and you could tell that she was, like... She was trying not to show her emotions on her face, and then you can tell there's a moment where she's like, you know what, fuck this, and she just unmutes. That's crazy. That's mm -hmm. super brave for her, because... I agree. As you, the details unravel, and obviously this is really sad, really, really fucking disgusting. Of the, I mean, damn. Here's a, this is the first clip I saw, actually. I'll get more details here. Uh, and I was like, this gotta be a bit, man. Yeah, this. Well, we watch your stream together. I've been wanting to tell people that, well, we watch your stream together. Just tell them that we're fucking married. Because it's like, our relationship would be better if we just stream them. And it's a fighting all the time. 
But no, Mr. I don't, know, I don't say that because it's going to run the business model. It's not time yet. Fuck yourself. I'm done with it. I'm not going to fuck you anymore. Piece of shit. You don't want, you want me to tell them I'm single? It's about to be true, piece of shit. Go oh, fuck yourself. <sighs> Small dick anyways. Ooh, that's the worst. It's funny for guys just how much that hurts. Yeah, okay, so that's the first one I saw. And I was like, this a bit, right? Because she was just so private. And obviously, like when you see him yelling at her, you're like, oh, this, this is serious. Uh, and it's so, so surreal watching this play out l on, you know, live on, on, on Twitch. Yeah. And just to give some more context, um, she allegedly wanted to go on vacation to Disneyland because she's been streaming so much. And, uh, her husband supposedly told her, if you want to go to Disneyland, you have to stream for 24 hours first. And in that 24 hour stream is when she uh, came out with all this. This man is straight fucking Andrew Tate evil. I cannot believe that people like this exist. The story breaks, it's, he's basically just like pimping her. And this woman works harder than anyone. She's streaming all fucking day. And she makes ungodly amounts of money. And it sounds like this guy doesn't do shit. And to actually tell your significant other, you have to stream for 24 hours first before we go to Disneyland. I mean, I mean, this this man is... This man is evil. Mm -hmm. I mean, what a fuck. And I just feel so bad for her because I made, I made one tweet about it here. Let me just see it because I think I formulated my thoughts well on this one. I said, I'm scared and disturbed by what's happening to Amaranth. It seemed like she was winning at life and in total control but she was the whole time living under tremendous abuse. And it makes me wonder how many others are living outwardly normal lives, but suffering badly at home. I would never have guessed in a million years that, that this was what she was dealing with behind the scenes. And she was so good at having this uh, public persona. Like, I would have never guessed. Um, and it just, it breaks my heart for her and also just knowing that there's other people trapped in a kind of situation like this. Uh, of, of course it go, it continues on though. And you know what's so ironic is like, like she has, she's known like, oh, I've got all these simps, whatever. Like there's guys that like worship the ground she walks on, right? And you can't fathom that that somebody like that guy would, could be so like unappreciative and ungrateful of, of having her as his wife. Yeah, she says that at some point to him when they're on the phone. She says something along the lines of like, so many people, like guys like me, and I married the only one who doesn't. And she, like verbatim, that's pretty much what she says to him. Wow. But so it's like the point is is that you never know what's going on in a relationship you know god it's so fucked up and her chat was so fucked up while she was saying all this yeah I saw a lot that. of them were calling her the problem and lots of nasty shit i just saw weird i saw lots of weird sim shit like date me i'll protect you whatever um god i like to fucking i like to know who this guy is, man. I know who he is. People know who he yeah. is. Does he have an online persona? Um, no. He's a producer, a music producer. And really? And a songwriter, yeah. God, I hope that man's life is ruined for this. I hope so, too. Fuck, I hope she divorces ass and he gets nothing. I heard that they were, she was like, I want a divorce, okay? I want to split. They were talking about it. And he's like, you can have a million dollars and I get everything else. Right. That's an amicable split. And by the way, she's probably worth like 30 million plus dollars. From her work. Yeah. Just to, sh you know, emphasize how hard she works. She streams more than XQC, more than Hassan, more than Aiden. 
uh, more than Ludwig. Wow. Yeah, it's insane. And actually, what's f interesting is that a lot of the charges, you'll see these godless, parentless, incel freaks saying that, like, oh, she's, she's lied about being single, she's scamming people, she, you know, whatever. It's like her husband forced her to do that. She didn't even want to keep that a secret. Um, and just, oh, man, it's so stupid. Scamming people? You know who said that. Yeah. The biggest dipshit in the world. <laughs> yep. People have no empathy. Here she shows text messages she got from him. Yeah, can you imagine that there's people actually, like, um, criticizing her? It's disgusting. Like, bro, how do you expect to, you're going to complain about being an incel and then you act like this? Like, who the fuck would ever want you as a significant other? Your pathetic yeah. fucking freak loser bitch. How could you ever watch those clips of her literally just sitting back? Like, she's barely getting a word in at some, at some points, and he's just screaming. And he's speaking nonsense to her, and then, like, trying to pick apart, like the the like little sounds he lets her get in in the first place and he's like no it's 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 the most like it's very disturbing someone says why are you abuse uh, uh, uh protecting the abuser's identity i don't give a fuck i don't yeah i don't give a shit i want this guy's life ruined are you kidding me oh is this him wait i don't i don't want to show someone that's not him yeah that's but there's a lot of, uh, there's a wrestler apparently named yeah i would just be cautious that's not him you don't want to send a Yo, mob after the, the wrong wrestler. person. No, I'm just kidding. He's not related. We love the wrestler. Oh, is he a bodybuilder? He's a producer. And he, he was a, yeah, he was a bodybuilder in the past. And he knew Amaranth before she was big. And that's one of the reasons he's able oh, to be so abusive with her. Yeah, this in my is opinion. him. This chat ass. Is he Asian? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, man, dude. He's all roided out, bro. I hope his life is over. Fuck this guy, bro. I'm so glad we actually found his identity. You fucking piece of shit. The world sees you for who you are now. You bitch ass monster loser fuck. Are you guys 110% confident this is the right person? <laughs> I've heard that he well, was Ian's not, Ian's not, I don't know about Ian's not showing either. this. And I think I, that's I, the I right call if, if we're not 100% sure that this is the it, right I person. I heard he's an Asian bodybuilder. I, he definitely does music, and his his socials have been found in that regard. Well, hold on. Know. You guys send me... Okay, you haven't shown anything in? Mm -mm. He has not switched okay. to that. You guys find out who the real guy is, and I'll show him. God damn. There's no definitive... Well, there's no... There's no yeah, I think we're jumping the gun. I mean, we... Yeah. It's, what? Yeah, like you said that it's you... from leaks. It's from leaks, but... How are we jumping the gun? You said we have his identity. L Olivia it's said also, we know who he is. It's also his name on the marriage certificate. I know, but just a very small chance. Very, very. It's a very common name, very Nick Lee. That, that is not, not okay. a unique name, whatever, whatsoever. So I just want to be very sure that we're not sending a mob of people after the wrong Nick Lee. You know what I mean? Right. Well, okay. So next time, you guys, if you say we know who he is, make sure that. Yeah. No, true. that was jumping the gun a little bit. Apologies. But, okay. So we didn't show a picture. Okay. Good. Oh, buddy, I hope that's you. Come on now. Come on. We got to find out who it is, though. But okay. There you go. Thank you, Ian, for not showing. <laughs> guys, we want to show him as much as you guys do, but we don't know who the fuck he is 100% yet. So let's wait until then. Also, should we wonder? Which should we? Should we worry about what is best for Amaranth? Like maybe she doesn't want to show him, or maybe it's good for her. I don't I know. Mean, but she, she, go ahead. They Mark. might not even like dis uh, divorce. I mean, usually in these cases, sadly, like they won't divorce. It's sad. It sucks. Well, I don't know. And we don't know how this is all gonna play out yet. I say, she's live. Yeah. Is she talking at all? No, she hasn't started. She's yet. Just on a card. Maybe we can see it has how it been goes, for a while. See what she says. We have it open, we're watching. Mm -hmm. 
How do you stay together after that? Because it was so public. I mean, fuck. Well, unfortunately, manipulation. There's That's how it usually goes. Yeah. And Hassan yeah. made a great point. That's why he was so confident in screaming at her over the phone because he's so confident in his abuse that he didn't even consider for a moment that she could be on live. Right. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But like he has her strangleholded. He's got all of the financials, her social media, everything. Apparently she doesn't even have access to the banks. Um I think this guy should be in jail based on this shit here. Here's some text message exchange she showed. Yeah, man, we're like, we're in the house now. It's like, the next time when I say plan, do it. Dumb fuck, do you understand like, what plan you're talking about? It's like, fuck this, I'm calling you. So I disappeared from stream. Take the call. So I can't, I tell them I can't talk right now. We're getting Wi Fi. I don't care. You get the call now. Last chance. About to dump your luggage. You know, from the, the, my hotel room. But throwing your stupid merch off the balcony. Proceeding to ditch your stuff. You don't need the makeup or the, or the the live view. Like the streaming epic. Or the clothes, huh? Deleting social media in one minute. Buying options that expire and blasting the cash. About to shut down the bank account. Your bank account, too. Lag is terrible. Stream is garbage. It's like... About to delete Twitter in 30 seconds. If you don't call me, your phone's literally off, right? I'm just like, it literally died. Gonna donate $250,000 to Paul Missy. He's like a bird sanctuary he likes. In the next two minutes, 250k gone. We'll don't. Wait, that's it? Isn't it longer? I mean, that was just, that was a clip going around on, on Twitter, but I mean, we kind of broke it up, and so there's just a little bit of each. I think the whole clip has more context that I'd like to see. Uh, well, where's the one where he was threatening to kill her dog? Was it in the same part? No, she, he said that to her on the phone before she unmuted, and then um, he admits it when she's... No, I saw a picture of he wrote, I'm taking your dog to the meat factory. I saw it. He literally wrote it down in a text. Um, here is a clip of her. You know what you are. I would lock my door, but he broke that too. So, Best you know. advice I can give that during- The fuck? Those are her stream sounds? Yeah. My they, divorce my grandma gave. Took the, this the too phone shall pass. Me. Both on from me. And so I ran in here. To call the cops, and he literally kicked the door in and broke. Like this doesn't even have a hinge anymore. And then he also another day, right from the SD Peach game, he was like trying to smash my phone against my computer, trying to pull monster my computer, timing, and then but took I the need fucking thing. It's just like one of the objects in my room. I think it was a, like one of the chairs or one of the tables, and like hit it against this wall and made this. This was my dog. This was him. Just like throw stuff. Water no one should shit. be putting Just hands on you in other like, than a loving man. No one didn't. I threw it in your direction, but not at you to the side of you. Bruh. Didn't hit you. Wasn't trying to hit you. You're still the uh, card on her live feed. It looks like it actually just ended. It just said, uh, "Be back later. Uh, the cops are here." Oh, interesting. Yeah, the thing is, so you guys will see, people were, I myself was worried about her safety because the way she ends her stream was super, super ominous and odd. Were you guys able to find that whole clip exchange? Uh, yeah. I'm watching right now to make sure this has included. The meat factory one was about the ho her horse, though, not the dog. Okay, well, yeah, whatever. Yeah, just send that one over. Let's see. In 10 minutes, 10 minutes, you never talk to my nephews again, tweeting and... In 10 minutes, 10 minutes, you never talk to my nephews right. again, tweeting and... Now paying for a California house, another 250k in five minutes, about the tweet about... Where was I? I was threatening to kill the dogs and I 
called one minute. I will absolutely make sure Kyron goes from Pete Packing House. And that's what made me lose it. All right, it. this is actually all new from where we were, so I'll just play from here. 250k gone. We'll donate 500k in three minutes. If no call in one minute, I will absolutely make sure Kyron <laughs> goes from Pete Packing House. And that's what made me lose it. The post was threatening to kill the dogs today. Was she just said threatening to kill the dogs, right? Mm hmm. So. He says, if you don't call me, I'm going to take the dog to the meat packing house. Bro, I'll kill that man in his sleep. Threaten to hurt my dog? Nah, you de you dead now, dude. If somebody killed my dog, I think I would go John Wick. It's really like that. That's so fucked, bro. It, it's... That specifically was the horse, but he... He did threaten the dogs as well. She read that and said, you're threatening to kill the dogs. Yeah, maybe she dog. was meaning he's threatening the dogs and the horse. But, I mean, I'm looking right now at her... Uh, yeah, Kyron is her horse. Yeah. Um, but you can tell when she's on stream, she says, like, and you said that, didn't you say that? And at, finally, he says, yes, I said I would kill your dogs, which is crazy. Apparently, this is a horse. I know she's super into animals and stuff, and she's, like, saving to start an animal sanctuary or something. This is her horse. Mm -hmm. Actually, a beautiful horse, damn. Mm -hmm. Yo, you are fucking scum, dude. You should go to jail. You should have no life. You need to just disappear, man. You need to go like to a monastery in Tibet and just think about your how fucked up you are for the rest of your life and then die anonymously. What a monster, dude. I, I hope just... she's safe. Stream's offline now. Fuck. I was really hoping to hear from her that she was okay. Yeah. Because as of when this all ended, nobody's heard from her. Nobody's heard from her. Supposedly her team said that she is okay, but nobody has yeah. heard from her directly, no. And then one of her friends, Alinity, did a wellness check, had the police do a wellness check, and they did, but they said, we can't tell you uh, the status of it. We can't share any information. How scary is this, you know? This is like a super successful public woman and she's still able to have this fucked up of an abusive partner. It just makes me so sad that there's people living living with people like this. I mean, what is wrong with them? Like genuinely, what is wrong with you, dude? Yeah, people are saying they don't trust her team. I don't either. I don't know who her team is. Because this guy's in charge of everything. He's in charge of her fucking team, her finances. Yeah, her team would be her husband, I think. Someone said she tweeted? Yeah, just the link to the stream that went off. She said, talk with the link. And then she said, someone called cops. Be back later. Yay, yay, yay. I've never really got this intimate of a glimpse into this kind of thing, and it's just so sad. It's just so sad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's my point. If it can happen to her, it can happen to anyone, and that's what's so scary and sad about it. Fuck. How do you end up like that? Just you're not loved by your parents? I mean, genuinely. You just, like, your parents beat the shit out of you? How do you end up so fucked up? I just don't get it. Greed. Greed? Evil and greed. It's all, it seems to, like, he just, he wants money. That's so wild. How can you be, like, gr so greedy at it up to that point? The yeah. threatening to kill the dogs today was, like, the last one, and I could not take it anymore. 20 seconds, time's up, 750k gone. Now we can't do a down payment for a California house. Another 250k in five minutes. About the tweet about about the tweet about you swatting me, the thing he said he was lying about and admitted it. And ten minutes, ten minutes. You never talked to my nephews again. Tweeting in in two minutes, one minute gone. Tweeting in one minute. Don't one million dollars going to, to pull over. See, lol, making me reduce it a dollar. You didn't actually do it. Just a fucking pussy. No, 250k in five minutes. Don't worry, I unpacked you. I mean, like, I went back to my hotel and my stuff that was literally like unpacked just to make it inconvenient so that I had to scramble to the airport. Like, fucking asshole. I'm just fucking done, dude. I'm just fucking done. Look at you.
can't fucking do it anymore. This is a fucking asshole. That's just like a typical day at the office for me. Just a typical day in my relationship. Relationship. I'm like relationship. Okay, a little zinger there at the end. Got Still him. in the mood for a zinger. We like that, Queen. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I, men are so embarrassing in general. Like, some men are so fucking embarrassing, you guys. The fact that any woman anywhere agrees to lay next to a man is just a miracle. So embarrassing. How, how, how do you... Um, see, I didn't know about this. This is interesting. Amaranth's husband wants her to do threesomes despite her opposition. Wow, this guy's hitting every douchebag peg. Yeah. This guy is like the bingo of a piece of shit, a significant others, or piece of shit doesn't even go far enough for what this guy is. Why would we only do threesomes with guys? I think we should do threesomes. threesomes. How did they even end up arguing about threesomes on stream? Like, how the fuck did this even come up? Wow. What? Oh my god! I don't want to do <laughs> see, see, this right here, this right here, this right here, is why... He's just finding anything to yell at her for. I said that. You weren't even listening, which is my point. If you're not listening well enough, then you're literally... Now you see why. I didn't say if you don't shoot 24 hours, I'm going to kill your dogs. You're so... You're just... No, 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 listen! I didn't know what to say. Fucking it's just hard to watch, yeah. yeah. Wait, where did they say? Nice, you want. What did he say about threesomes? I tried to tell you what I heard. He said, from Why you? would we do threesomes with guys? <laughs> and you're, then you're and she said, I don't want to do threesomes. How did that even come up? He was l really just finding anything to but yell at her for. Like, they went a million different branches mm -hmm. and, and reached no conclusion because he wasn't looking for one. Dude, the way he talks to her is so fucking inhuman. You just... No, let's stop right there. No, no, stop! 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 Why did you say you were going to kill dogs? You're, you're literally doing the thing that you did this morning, which is you're interrupting what I'm explaining to you. No, tell... Oh my god, just fucking disappear, bro. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. That guy... Shit. He's got to be one of the most hated people in the world right now, though. So there's that. Just, uh, I mean, it's nice. It's good, I think, that she was able to capture this. Because something this bad, people almost don't believe it, you know? Not almost. I mean, there are people actually, still there are people still saying that they don't believe it or blaming her. Actually, it just goes true. to show how, you know, we think we've come so far, but when it comes to you know, matters of abuse in relationships like this, people are very eager to find any rationalization for why it's the victim's fault. Yeah, you're right, actually. Even when it's plain in your sight. Yeah. And just horrific, right? Like, undeniably horrific. There's still people blaming her. Incredible. Why would we only do three I just, I'm trying to understand the context of this. So weird. <laughs> I think you're doing yourself a disservice trying to understand this. This is a totally irrational <laughs> lunatic. He, like Olivia said, he's just throwing in it, anything so and everything. Odd. Shotgun approach. I asked you. Okay. There it is. Um, calls her emotionally frail and says she should just accept it. Whatever. Don't need to watch that. Amara said she called the cops because he got physical with her. That's not good. Her stream ended abruptly after seeing a door slightly move. Here, I'll watch this. Hello? 
Yeah. Uh, I haven't gotten any calls. What are you talking about? Why would you ask if I'm taking my... Dude, this is so weird. So, that's when it... That's when she ended the stream? So it ended with her assistant coming in and well, saying, are you taking your medicine? Well, she was, no, she was on the phone with her assistant and she asked if you took your medicine and then- Wait, I thought it sounded like she was talking to her from the back room. She, people are speculating about who's in the back room. They think it could have been her on the phone, like meeting up with her in person. What? I thought it was her assistant behind her. She's mm. on the- Uh, I haven't gotten any calls. Oh, maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it's just her assistant. I think it's her assistant peeking in. Okay. What are you talking about? Why would you ask if I'm taking my- So what is going what? on here is so weird. The assistant comes in and says, are you taking your medicine? And she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you asking me that? And it ends. Yep. So that and that that's the last that people have heard from her. Yeah, other than uh this aborted stream that just went offline. Right. Apparently the uh police are there. I, I there is also this isn't directly from her, but um this tweet right here. If you wanna open this up. Apparently she said that he's cut her Wi Fi out before. Mm -hmm. Last update on Amareth, people on the team were able to talk to her, and she says she's fine. Police went multiple times since 5 a.m. yesterday. She says she's okay, so they can't do much. She spent all day talking to her husband to sort things out. Not sure what else we can do right now. Yeah, so this was um, like three or four hours ago. and This then... guy says he's content lead for Amareth, so he, so he knows, so he works with her. Right. But it's he hasn't talked to her. Yeah, he might not. He's probably remote or something. Huh. But what do you make of that ending of that? What, what's it was and somebody unplugged the Wi-Fi. And what's with the have you taken your medicine? Uh, I don't know. I, that's I don't, the, know. I don't know. If Creepy like, <laughs> is what that it gives me. Bad vibes. And she goes, why are you asking me that? Was this like a coordinated thing potentially? I don't know. Bro, this Very is so weird. And I think the reason... We met some of her people, too. I don't know who... It was like When she came here to do the podcast, she had like a whole entourage. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. I thought maybe her husband's trying to make her look crazy. But who would do that? Go in there and ask? Either way, man, please get out of there at any cost. Here is Alinity talking about how she had the police do a wellness uh, check. I woke up this morning and I saw this stuff on LSF. And I got a little concerned about ammo. Um, I tried reaching her out and I couldn't reach her out. Uh, so I, um, I did a welfare check on her and the, the police can't tell me anything about whether or not she's okay. And that's literally all I can do. Uh, I would like to hear from her. I would really like that. Um, that's it. That's really Um, so that's it. It's super, uh, it's just so scared and sad for her. Yeah, and it's still just an ongoing situation, I guess, that we'll keep on top of, but I hope she's all right. Yeah, I mean, that tweet is not really putting at me at ease, just like... No, yeah. yeah, not really. It's just that's the latest news from anyone even remotely connected to her as of this moment, so... Yeah, but I hope her, like, going public with all this just... Gives her the strength and motivation to just get away from him. Because someone like, like a guy like that, man, it's just bad for anyone. 
I think it really just fucked me up thinking like, damn, that can happen to her. Yeah, like you said, I mean, we've met her in person and we've had her on the show a number of times. She seemed like a very, you know, sharp, well put together woman um, who was really on top of her shit and everything. And uh, yeah, I just never would have guessed that, you know, the whole time she was being hurt like this. And very kind. She was really nice. Yeah, she's a total sweetheart. Yeah, she was saving up for an animal sanctuary. Right, which is, I mean, obviously, she's, she loves animals and everything, and it's not a surprise that her husband is using so, that. Wait, this guy has tweets confirming their marriage. Yeah, it's in 2020 when those certificates surfaced, supposedly he posted them. They are on a Twitter that belongs to, who claims to be her husband. It could be a troll. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't trust it sounds that. Sounds like it could be a troll. Yeah, if it was that whole drama at the time, it was probably just somebody creating that account. If that's all that oh, that account I'd tweets love about. Oh, I know that guy's real identity. Dying to know who that is. Oh yeah, that seems sus. You're right, Ian. Well, we'll find out. Let's not assume it's any. Let's not assume anything. Well, we know his name. But again, that's yeah. like it may not be the body. One of the most common yeah. names you could pick yeah. from. So. But I mean, it's obviously very possible that Olivia is, Olivia is probably right, but it, there's no like let's wait definite for, proof. Yeah, let's wait for if Amaranth wants well, people to know who he is. Yeah, yeah. The people but that are saying that that and sharing that account, I'm actually timing you out. Um, that that is literally a docs account that you're sharing in our chat right now. So please stop spamming that. That is not his real Twitter account that is meant to reveal their address and private information. Yep, and somebody just posted it in our chat. Bye-bye, Papa it. Fieri. It's nice knowing you. Peace. Yeah, don't post that, guys. We're, we want to be careful about this, all right? Fit does not go, Ethan. Sorry to say. Are you really talking shit on my fit <laughs> at a time like this? What's wrong with my fit? Nothing at all. Yeah. <sighs> so sad. Well, guys, if you or someone you know is a victim of abuse, you can call 800-799-7233. There's resources out there to help you. And really smart people that are going to help you get away from whoever's abusing you, you know, I think, I think people put it off thinking it'll get better, it'll get better, just get away as fast as you can, man, yeah, thank you, there's family in, uh, in the chat there, um, what can we do, I feel like, God, I want to do something to help her, but I don't know what, there's just nothing to do, I mean, you can try, I mean, you've talked behind the scenes, you can try and reach out and just offer whatever kind of support that she might need. But I it's such a fluid situation right now, I mean, who knows? And literally the the cops are at her house as we speak right now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was scared this motherfucker really gonna hurt her, the way yeah. it ended, yeah. and yeah. we haven't heard from her. No, it's definitely a real concern. Although, the police were definitely at her house, that's for sure. So I think if, ah, who knows? Let's not speculate. Let's just see. It's just the, the thing that makes this story especially so crazy is that she's so famous, she's so well known as this amazing businesswoman, uh, super successful, and this is what's going on. Fuck. You guys want to see? Let's do a poll. You guys want to see the most nuclear take ever on this situation by yours truly, Rat Star? You don't need a take. Everybody already knows about it. But he was getting dragged so legendary, and it's so good that he get dragged so hard because... Actually, you says we haven't progressed. I actually think we have progressed. And Keemstar's... The nuclear response to Kim Star's tweet is proof 
Because Keemstar used to get away with this shit all the fucking time. Saying shit like this. And he had like a little posse of little pieces of shit that would back him up. Do a poll. If people don't want to see it, then God bless. But the fact that he can't say that shit and he gets flamed so hard, he actually had to erase the tweet. That is progress, man. Uh, I suppose that's true. Yeah, I mean, I didn't mean like that we haven't ago. progressed, just that as much as we think we have improved as a society on these things, you see shit like that and it's like, oh yeah, that's still out there. <laughs> Do you want to see the worst take imaginable? Yeah. I'm actually really curious what people think about this because obviously, oh, the people, okay. Because five years ago, if Keemstar tweeted this, he'd have like a whole posse of people backing him up. You know. And now, his channel's basically dead. It's fucking awesome. You know? All right, so let's see. Let's just look at his tweets real fast. It is really incredible. I mean, I've never seen... This is maybe... Let's be honest, it's not even his worst take, which is crazy. The guy, the man said, if you're depressed, take three sips of beer and you'll be fine. Yeah, here, here's how it starts, so you guys know it's good. Check this shit out. <laughs> Clearly, husband is abusing. She showed the text, but! But! And it's such a big but. It's not even but. like, but. It's like, but! She had it coming. Women be shopping. <laughs> <coughs> Win in the shopping, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. He goes, clearly the husband is abusing. She showed the text. But I love the huge, the huge emphasis. Amrath herself has scammed so many guys online claiming she was single for years. These Twitch streamers God. don't care about their viewers. <laughs> <laughs> they all just use you and your low IQs to fill their pockets. Um, <laughs> there's so much to unpack here, actually. It's pretty interesting. First of all, she's not scamming anyone, bro. How is she scamming people? <laughs> Explain to me the, in your feeble mind. The porn star faked an orgasm. I feel like I got scammed. I got ripped <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> It's just so Fucking weird, bro. Idiot. How is she scamming? <laughs> she literally has a product that people buy. <laughs> this whole thing, this whole obsession with... Uh, Wait, the it sounds that... like he's mad. <laughs> right, exactly. Like, I thought you were single. I thought she's, I had a chance. She's way too old for him. Right. Also, didn't he lie about not ha having a girlfriend for a while? Calling her an assistant instead? <laughs> for like scamming, a year. Same thing. <laughs> scamming his uh, simps. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jesus. Cameron. Hey, I, I think he's. Oh, I can't talk about that shit. Okay, I got to be good when I talk about Keemstar because he reports every little thing I do to YouTube. Mm -hmm. Let's just say there's other things he's lied about. He's emailing OnlyFans right now. <laughs> he's, 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 Are you telling me? <laughs> I want a refund. They're not stepbrother and sister. <laughs> and I jerked off to this? <laughs> hey! What kidding? a scam! I got fucking scammed, man! Wait, hold on. That's not really your mom? <laughs> in reality, you guys got scammed? There aren't hot singles in my area? But just imagine, and, and th so the timing of this is actually good, too, because this is right as the story broke, and everyone's just outraged and shocked and scared for her. And his first impulse is to say, this B word be scamming, baby. <laughs> <laughs> she scams so many guys online by claiming she's single. You fucking stupid bitch. <laughs> Do you really think that's how this works? Because uh, he's expressing anger for himself. Like, like, you know, that's, that's not how it works, dude. These Twitch streamers, and then he makes it, turns it into a huge... Sweeping generalization about all Twitch streamers. They don't care about their viewers. They just use you and your low IQs to fill their pockets. Um, he's bitter. He's fucking bitter that she's making bank and Twitch and all these streamers are making bank. And this guy, 
he got no, he's, his career is dead. I mean, it's not even fun that much to talk about him anymore because he's basically like a shit tier YouTuber now, like that I wouldn't even bother to respond to. But uh, this one was too good to pass up, in fact. But yeah, he's basically just a nobody at this point, which is great. Then he goes, um. That's just, the, yeah. Then he goes on. He actually, if you didn't think that take could be worse, he tacked on a uh, part two. Mm -hmm. Also, Amaranth for years got praise for being a genius businesswoman. Based on this new information, the hidden husband behind the scenes was the one making all the business moves. So, dot, dot, dot. Ooh. So, on one, I love how he's like, he's he a genius. He's, he's so he's down a genius. with the abuser. <laughs> He's like, he's team abuser. He's like, the first of all, okay, sure what he did was bad, but she's a lying hoe, and he's kind of a genius businessman. And she's just a dumb woman, which is what I always thought. Can you imagine typing this shit publicly? <laughs> Fuck, dude, can you believe this? Yeah. This, this to me was even the crazier one. To being like, I knew that I knew she was just a dummy like all the other women. Of course there was a man behind her operation. This man has a daughter, dude, and he hates women that much. Fuck. Well, like you said, he's irrelevant. He's just trying to make shocking content so that he is relevant again, but it doesn't work like it used to. Because he used to do this and then at least come up and have back and forth with big creators for a while, but now it's just like no one gives a shit. Well, everyone's just dunking. Yeah, everyone's. Him. He's yeah. just, he's like the heel of it. He's literally just like a joke. Will end women. I think he believes this, though. This is who he oh, is. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Believe no, no, no. Yeah, I mean, he's not. down. Yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, this, this is. <laughs> he hates 100%. women. I mean, it's, it's been one of the most common mm -hmm. threads in his career. Um, well, they did the same thing with Pokimane, saying that she had a secret boyfriend. Right, and that's a scam. Yeah. Scam, dude. I'm being scammed. You know what's funny? Scammed. If a guy was doing that, Keemstar wouldn't give a shit. I'm sure of it. It's like you have a right to privacy. Just because if you're a woman online, they're not entitled to know your your private life. She has a right to not tell you that. Mm -hmm. Um, you know. Oh, brother. Can you believe this guy's real? It, there's two, like, I can't believe her husband's real, the one abusing, and then you have people like this. He's kind of team abuser. It's just incredible. Uh, then he, he starts, to, he gets on his uh, apology podium. I deleted the whole Amareth thread. Too many people were making bad faith arguments. <laughs> <laughs> I just read what you wrote. Oh boy. Manipulating what I said and straight lying. For sure. Um what? But then he goes, I also need to take some responsibility for not communicating my points better. Mm hmm Okay. Good luck with that. So is that the most nuclear take? I mean, yeah, right? It's hard Idiot. to top Yeah, that. it'd be hard to top. He was actually trending, and just a lot of dunking was going on. It was great. It's the nuclear word. And the one thing we... Uh, um, the one thing about Keemstar that we always talk about, he does have a God-given talent. To always have the worst possible take in any given situation. Every situation that comes up. Like, I mean... I, I, I'm really thinking back. It's like, has he ever had a good take that we've been like, credit where's credit's due? I did Maybe like, that's happened like once. I did like that he got the play buttons as a settlement. Not yeah, It wasn't so much a take, <laughs> but it was kind of like a... It was, it was cool. I mean, that's that a baller kind of, move. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah it's no, a baller yeah. move. But yeah, I can't really think of a good Keemstar take. It's like he's in the lab formulating the worst take possible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. <sighs> <laughs> it's incredible that um, only uh, 18 year olds would date him. 
It's like they don't know better. So there it is. Uh, Amaranth, uh, we wish her well. She's a great girl. And I just want her to be okay. And I want all you guys to be okay, you know? It's like... It's so sad, man. I don't know why people are so fucked up in this world. You do not have to tolerate it. I think, in my experience, when you're in a fucked up situation, like, I, there's two sides of you. One is like, I need to get away from here. Or another one, which wins out a lot of time in my life and other people's life, is like, we'll get through this, it'll get better, this mm -hmm. isn't really what it is, you know, and putting it off and, and, and... I found that it's almost always better, I think, in my life, that when you're in a fucked up, toxic situation, you gotta, you gotta just cut your losses and leave. I'm not even talking about an abusive relationship or a marriage even necessarily, but sometimes, or it could be friends, it could be a situation, it could be somewhere you're living or something. Like, you gotta just cut your losses sometimes and fucking go. You know? Sometimes, and I like the saying, moving backwards is the best way forward. Oh, right? Is that little nugget and see you next Tuesday? Potentially. Oh, a little teaser for tomorrow. <laughs> Potentially. Yes. <laughs> Don't sometimes, you know. On the long and winding road. Dun, 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 leave dun. to keem stars. Worse takes. Somebody said, how does Women she leave when he has shopping. control? What? Somebody asked, uh, how does she leave when he has control of her finances? Yeah, I mean, that does make it well, difficult. Well, he, but... he got her fucking real, 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 real bad. Yeah. Yeah, people saying sometimes that isn't possible. I know. Of course. No, I mean, every situation is different. But... They, he's made, he's, he has made it close to impossible for her to make that such a hard choice for her. But I need to emphasize actually just how brave she is for doing that. Fuck, man. Mm -hmm. Fuck, baby. All got her back. And I just can't wait to see his face, man. Is it illegal to ship shit, like, shit to somebody? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> well, what kind of shit? But, Maybe like, what would the legalities be if it were... My, uh, like, is it written? My grandfather did that to my grandmother during their divorce. No fucking way! Tell the story. Tell me everything. Tell the story. It was, it was a, a nasty divorce. Like, awful. And he was, he was very, without getting too into it, he went nuts. And he was very much into horses. So he shipped her horse shit in the mail. It's pretty psycho. Yeah. And, and was there, what was the message he was trying to send there? Uh, he hated her. He called her, like, bitch, dog, like, just awful things. Marriage is a beautiful institution. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Sending horse shit in the It's mouth. lovely. Yeah. Uh, it's sacred. It's sacred for a reason. We must protect the sacred institution of marriage. No gays allowed. It's sacred. I love that people think it's so sacred. It's not sacred. Anyone can get married. Everyone's fucked up. People be shipping shit. And did you maintain a relationship with both your grandpa and grandma? Uh, yeah, he kind of like, more so my grandmother. He's kind of down and out in Vegas right now. And oh, he's still, he's, they're, are they yeah. both still around? Yeah, they're both still around, yeah. Interesting. But more, I mean, obviously sided with my grandmother more. But, sure, uh, that's, that's a tough uh, stance yeah. to defend there. Yeah, yeah. But, so, uh, so, but my point is, if we find out that this guy is, can we ship him shit? I'm no. asking hypothetically. I'm not, of course, doing it or encourage anyone to do it. But that'd be, you know, if you just received a package and there was poop in it, that's just kind of... Trust me, once it's public, he's going to be getting more shit than one man can handle. Not for me. Yeah, not let's for contribute. <laughs> not, no. 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 <laughs> not for me. What the hell are you talking about? And I don't want anyone to ship him a box of, of their f homemade feces. Right, Dan? Should stop talking oh, about this. This is, this is not a good track we're going down. Oh, dance pissed. Okay. People are saying it's illegal. Yeah, that's Yeah, cool. it's obviously illegal. And no, don't do it. What am I doing? We've already almost doxed the wrong person and sent a hate mob up for them. So 
There's lots of not very sharp people in the audience that might take your comedic suggestion as a real suggestion and do it. But, I, well, I mean, it's just not, it's just not what I would do. Or I recommend anyone to do, you know. What can you send that's legal in the mail then? Dan? Don't send him anything. No, I'm not talking <laughs> Just about Just stop talking about harassing this guy. What are you talking about? I'm not harassing anybody. I'm just hypothetically wondering. You know. That's you all ready for a week off? <laughs> what? You think I'll get banned for that? Yes, absolutely. Encouraging your fans to harass somebody in You're real life. I'm not. You're the one that keeps saying I'm encouraging. I'm just wondering hypothetically. Nobody's encouraging. Okay. Nobody do that. You're the one that's saying I'm encouraging. I'm not encouraging. You're right. You're right. You're making it worse. Mom, Dad, <laughs> I love I mean, you both. Please I mean, what's going this. on here? Stop this. Don't make me choose. I just said, can you mail a box of shit? What the hell, dude? Is it that serious? Did she you can't. hear Vince, uh, Vin Diesel dethroned Prince William, <laughs> the hottest bald man in the world? No way. I Where'd did you see hear that? that? I did. <laughs> um, I agree with that. Let's see here. I did hear that. But there's Zuckerberg legs, which is even bigger uh, announcement. Uh, obviously, uh, um, the metaverse has been a place we frequented on this show. Uh, breaking technology. I'm the meat chef. And there's a huge announcement that Mark Zuckerberg is making here. Let's take a look. One more feature coming soon that's probably the most requested feature on our roadmap. Legs. Wow. <laughs> they finally done it. Wow. The technology oh has surpassed it's, anyone's expectations. It's developed. It's and amazing. I am stunned. I'm speechless. I can't wait to get back in there. I like legs. Legs. <laughs> Actually, that is impressive if they can track your leg movement. That they can't. Fire. They faked this video. They faked it? Yeah, it's motion capture. Why they fake it? Because they don't actually have the technology yet. They're working on it. Why'd you fake it, you bitch, Mark? <laughs> Stupid oh, idiot. Dumbass. You made Fucking this big dumbass. announcement about legs and you faked it, you idiot. Not even kidding. Legs. I know you've been waiting for this. I think everyone has been waiting <laughs> for this. But seriously, the legs are hard, which is why other virtual reality... Uh, Mark Zuckerberg's Metaverse Legs demo was staged with motion capture. <laughs> Forbes. <laughs> yep. Dude. You could... So it's like, you couldn't even add legs, bitch. <laughs> the legs were Coming alive. soon. How am I supposed to take Metaverse seriously when my, my guy didn't have legs? Systems don't have them either. And the perceptual hey, the science behind this is actually quite interesting. Yeah. You discovered early on that your brain is a lot more willing to accept a rendering of a... What's wrong with him? He's he's like bankrupting this company with Metaverse. Yeah. He, I'm excited. He, <laughs> I'm stoked on it. He's got this weird obsession with like VR and he can't let it go. Like me with mailing shit. I think he really thinks that that's going to be the next the next thing. There's no shot. And he's trying to be the one to, to corner that market before it gets big, but... Well, there it is. I mean, maybe it will be, maybe, in another... Uh, eventually. I think it will be big. Yeah, I, I think, think it'll it might be big. actually... Wait. I think... Wait, you do? Yeah. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So what do you I see? Think, I think it's a good choice to do this. Okay, so where do you it, see it becoming? Well, well I'm going to say this. They're, they have so much money, so they just need to spend money on dumb shit for a couple of years, and eventually something's gonna hit, I feel like. Uh, but yeah, I think the world is moving Here. to be more digital, so... Yeah, hmm? I don't, yeah, I don't disagree. I think I that this it. kind of things is, uh, is definitely going to continue to grow, but I don't know. I think his efforts to, to corner the market uh, right now I just don't, I don't know if it's, it, it's still just not really quite there yet, frankly. I'm making meats now. Smoke their meats their company is worth almost $400 billion. They're not even wasting a percentage, in my opinion, on 
building out this. I, I don't think I I don't think it's that big of a money sink. Is my my. Opinion. It seems like it's his primary focus, though. Anyway, I mean, it is. Okay. They changed I, the name of the company to Meta. I yeah, mean, they I, they're openly declaring that this is. I just their don't thing. think. I don't see people chilling around in their living room with like VR headsets on, like on a mass scale. I just don't Can see I, it. I, I, mean. I think this is a whole market ploy. I think they want us to think that they're only doing uh, VR while they instead make all their money from stealing people's data, doing ads. <laughs> ads, yeah. Right. I think that is the main point. That you mean in VR? No, no just they are pushing VR to cover up what they're actually doing, uh, like on Facebook and shit. <laughs> you think it's just a red herring? Distraction. Yeah, I, I, I'm almost distract sure them from it. regulation and You're everything. Sure of I it. Mean. Almost sure of it. I guess it's true. You go, hey, it's Meta. What's nothing wrong with Meta? Yeah. And whenever I'm right, it does sound a little bit dumb. Like, why are they doing going all in? Doesn't really make sense. But <laughs> Mark's like, hey, no. check out my legs. And then meanwhile, they're selling like 300 million Americans' data to like uh, <laughs> Russian spies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're not making three hundred and sixty-five billion dollars on on VR. That's all personal data to Russia. <laughs> hmm, we love. Look at my <laughs> legs. The election's yeah. coming up. We need everyone's data. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vladimir Putin. <laughs> there it is. Okay, okay, all right. Huge breakthrough. Also, we have Vin Diesel is. Uh, so Vin Diesel really is the hottest bald man in the I am baffled by this whole Vin article. Vin Diesel? <laughs> yeah. In 2022? He's really kind of fucking ragged looking <laughs> at this really point in his life. And, I mean, do you, do you ladies think Prince William is a hot bald man? <laughs> it's got to be a no, right? Suck crickets. You don't want to speak bad about royalty. I get it. Right, that's my. That's yeah, my we friend. don't do that on this show. That is my prince. <laughs> so that's a no, I'm assuming. Um, I mean, he's not bad looking. No, but I, he's not the hottest guy in the right. If, if you're well, gonna, he's not. He's if not label. <laughs> like I wouldn't necessarily give him that label. But, but you also, he's not even bald, bro. He's bald adjacent. Yeah, yeah. Real, this is, is he's true. stealing ball valor here. Yeah, you gotta get Forget rid of all your fucking hair if you want that title. Yeah. Well, anyway, we have a new champion. This fucking... <laughs> Look at the picture they picked for him. <laughs> Look at this hunk of spam. They did that on purpose. This <laughs> is the... Talk to me, baby. You guys think it's a joke. That's right. This year, Fast and Furious actor Diesel... <laughs> Shit. She's so beautiful. Claimed the honor. <laughs> For 2022. Wait, <laughs> his score was 6.46 out of 10? What the fuck are we rating? I don't know. This whole article comes across as a troll to me. Like, it, like is this even real? I the cranial it's, it's Yahoo News. <laughs> Let's see. They say he got a cranial shine factor of 563.65 <laughs> candles <laughs> per square meter. This equates to his head reflecting light with a 70.6% of the luminous intensity of standard light bulbs. <laughs> and second place was uh, Stanley Tucci. Robbed. The Tucci is the goat. He should have been number one. 17% of the tweets. Uh, uh, Stanley Tucci's golden ratio is 75.83%. Second only to Jason Statham. So are they... This is about the shininess of their head. Yeah, the, um, the article expands at the bottom if you want to keep... Looking at the rest of the listings. Uh, scroll up a little bit. Yes, thank you, Sam. Sam knows. <laughs> the Rock. Now there's a hot, bald dome. Mm. Apparently not as hot as uh, Stanley Tucci. <laughs> Here's the, the official uh, power rankings. Vin People are Diesel. saying Tucci is super hot in the chat. See? Yeah, what? What? He really was robbed. Stanley Tucci? The Tucci? The Tucci, dude! I mean, he's an older gentleman, but he, he's handsome. Was he... Here, let's look at young young Stanley Tucci. Let's see what he's got. Prime. Prime Stanley Tucci. Okay, player. Damn, boy. Yeah, you doing something to me guy. right now, dude. Okay. And he rocks Shh, the dude, dome. Dude, look at those arms, bro. He rocks the dome look pretty well. 
Damn. Yeah, people love the Tooch. Okay, the Tooch is Tooch is here. so hot. Yeah, I'm seeing lots of Tooch love. Tooch love. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Rogan's actually hitting the list. Uh, Mike Tyson, The Rock at the bottom, idiot loser. Pitbull. Bruce Willis, the dude is, he's like, he's in a fucking home at this point. He's so old. Who's Shemar Moore? Oh, I don't even know who that is. He's but. on um, Criminal Minds. And he's on some new cop show now, but that's where he's famous. For. That's an... Mm, he's See, there got, was obviously he's some, some bias, biases going I on I vote for him. Yeah, fuck him. Yeah, I mean, they're trying to say Vin Diesel's better looking than this guy? No, Shemar It's a fucking it. joke. Shamar takes the cake. You like this guy? Love. Look at that dome is clean. Shiny. <laughs> oh man. I love you can see the makeup line too. It's interesting. You know. Get okay. this little perspective. Okay. We love it, Bald okay. King. So shout out Bald Kings. Um shout out. We now have a power rating for Bald Kings. But see, that's the thing. I, I feel like this whole list, other than a couple of them is like a backhanded compliment because it's like the best looking bald man in the world and it's Vin Diesel. It's like it only goes down from there. It's brutal. Yeah, it's not a great, <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't bode well for, <laughs> for you bald man. Oh, this is, con this is really interesting, you guys. BTS Nation, obviously we stand BTS, Butter, uh, and uh, Dynamite. Dynamite. Love that Forget one. about it. They're yeah. all classic. Dynamite. I couldn't even pick a favorite. I just love BTS so much. Mm -hmm. I love you, BTS. Well, B all members of BTS will be serving mandatory military service. Yep. In the North Korean military. That's right. They've defected oh, to no. the North. They are now part of Jushi Gang. The one true ideology of Kim Young Sung, King Il Sung. How old are one? they? Uh, the one that's going in the end of October is 29. They do mandatory military. Mm -hmm. they, they have to do mandatory military at 29. He or does. Do you they choose got, when to do it. I think they they, they had a deferred. Year. Yeah, they had a two year deferred. Dude, yeah. that's pretty hardcore. That even BTS can't get an exception. To like, dude, we're well, ten percent of the country. <laughs> I think that they could get an exception uh, because they do give exceptions to prominent artists and stuff. But it's a fairly touchy subject in South Korea because mm -hmm. people that get ex exceptions, it's considered like unpatriotic and like I you're, you're yes, the same in out. Israel. If you you you're not doing your civic duty exactly. So I think that I think they are doing it anyways. So they're to, being humble kings, right? But what's really crazy is that they're going to go on hiatus now until 2025. I mean, what happens if the butt, when the butter gets room temp? <laughs> it becomes margarine. It's not good. It's just, is anyone going to care? And, and, and I mean that with, you know, peace and love to BTS. They don't care. They cared when Elvis came back. It seems like a big <laughs> risk to disappear for three years when you're as hot as they are. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the pop world is pretty fickle, but nah, I mean, they'll make a fucking fortune on like a reunion tour kind of thing. You know, what, what can we do about it? Like, as BTS fans, what can we do about this? Like, can we wage what? Can we, can we, we can unite the Korean what peninsula? If we, yeah, what if we just nuke <laughs> North Korea? Would that get them out of military service if we just annihilate their threat? I feel like that might set off a chain reaction. That, that may might hurt, might that make may things worse, might. Might make things worse than the nuclear country. Yeah. An assassination, maybe, of Kim Jong Un. That's obvi obviously that's not a threat. I have no means of assassinating a world leader. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't even do it. I'm not worried. I wouldn't, about, I wouldn't even. I'm know not worried. To begin. Say whatever you want about him. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't even know where to start to plan. I, that. And I don't think our audience would. Uh, I, I'm not too worried about our audience harassing uh, Sniper, the Kim family. Take him down. <laughs> Y'all yeah, can go right ahead. No, but what can we do? Can we send body doubles to serve in their stead, maybe? Uh, yeah, What's maybe. What's that one guy's name? The, the, the... You mean? Ollie London! Oh! Ollie London! Ollie he London! Had, let's get him in there! <laughs> he had something to say, you can see. Yeah, there's no... <laughs> offered him Ollie London! Up. That's what I'm talking about. Ollie London, my man. I know, he <laughs> stepped up when we needed him most. Ollie London said, I am a Korean man again. And I would... Oh, he's, he's back? He's back. He, okay, good. So, I wasn't sure. <laughs> he went back to being like English or something, and then 
<laughs> I don't know what the story maybe, is. Maybe maybe explain who Ollie London is for Ollie London is a guy who's done like incredible amounts of plastic surgery. He's obsessed with uh what's which one hey, Jim Jimin. 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 <laughs> he and he just wants to be him. He wants to look yeah. like him. He's like obsessed with them. He moved to South Korea. And got a bunch of plastic surgery to try and make himself look Asian. Yes, he is from the United Kingdom. He is a he says, white I'm guy. a Korean man again, and I will do Korean military service for my country. <laughs> again, not Korean. I offer myself instead of Jimin. I will do two years service as Jimin so he can continue singing and doing what he does best. Korean government, will you take me up on this offer? <laughs> like sacrificing him. He's uh, offering yes. himself like tribute. Hungry Game style. He is. Yeah. Yes. Yes, King. Yes, I'm gonna comment. Yes, <laughs> King. And then, is there? Does Korean government have like uh, an app? <laughs> At Korean government, Korea? you have to see this. Uh, it Korea would probably tourism. be so South Korea. Here, Korea tourism. Oh, that's Los Angeles. Los Angeles. <laughs> That'll do. They'll, they'll get the word back. Korea hey. boo. Yeah. They'll get, it's like the Santa Claus. Thing. I think you would. Pr it's probably South Korea or something. Korea. For that At effect. Korea. That's a person. I don't know who. Uh, oh, you you think South Korea? Well, I mean, if you let's see at South Korea. Okay, we got um, Korea oh, wow. Pro. Yeah, not yeah, not a lot here. Let's do at Korea. That's kind of fire. And that'll like, Wait, let's that'll see. Just some random. It's first. just some random. Account. <laughs> It'll reach like all ends. I feel like that's a fire ass <laughs> Twitter handle. At Korea. Wait, don't show this. I'm gonna click this. I wonder who is this. Well, <laughs> oh, it's just a dude named yeah, that's Korea. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he'll tell. He'll let them know for us. You tell him, bro. Yeah, I think it's uh, Republic of Korea is the official name of South Korea. So, leaving my friendships behind. <laughs> BTS be like, I'm joining the military, and I'm leaving my friendships behind. <laughs> behind. Bond. <laughs> Bond. Uh, but that's that's <laughs> respect. I mean, oh here, no, we have Seoul government. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, Seoul government is the official one. Let me actually supplement the. Damn, and they could they couldn't pay off the dude who's sitting on the at Korea. Uh. I know. I would think <laughs> so too. I think they would have made a play for that. Well, so this is just the city of Seoul. This isn't the national government, but it's the best we got so far. Seoul so. government. Come on, dude. Come on. Don't <laughs> come on, don't be dude. lame, bro. <laughs> yeah, so we're we're doing our part. We stand BTS. We are <laughs> we are doing everything we can to keep them on tour, man. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are probably so overworked. They're probably like, thank God, a break. Yeah, that's probably a good break. I get to go dig <laughs> trenches and shit. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so relaxing <laughs> compared to this shit. That's funny. And the barricades. Well, there it is. Uh, so sad. Tragic, really. Tragic. I wonder if they're served together and like they're doing military service and they're like just breaking the dance. They're all working like the building trenches and shit, just like, and then they're all just like, ow! <laughs> <laughs> just all of them no. together break out in spontaneous dance. Yeah. Love that for them. Or BTS. Uh, military arc where they just do like a bunch of uh, yes. military propaganda. Movie musical, please. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm we begging. need. Yes. Military if the Korean government is smart, bro, I'm not kidding. Butter's like 10% of their GP, GPD. GDP. <laughs> if the Korean government was smart, they'd be up in that military service making short films, videos. Fuck. I can't live without him. I'm stressed out. I don't know what to do for these next three years. Well, when they come back, we can look forward to a fucking banger record, man. Three years in the fucking waiting, man. Let me hype. Fuck. Oh, what is this? Okay, speaking of hottest bald man, wait, this was on the website. I missed it. Scientifically proven wow. hottest bald man in the world. I agree with that. Okay, now hold on. This was on the website? <laughs> Well, yeah, I okay. must have missed that somehow. 93.45% of the luminous intensity oh, wow. of a standard light bulb. Yo! Dan you can light Street. up a room with that dome, brother. Hold on. 
Near cut to me. Can we? Can we see Turned the dome? Turn on my light as much as possible. Can we see the dome? Yeah. Oh, I see. You didn't prepare. You didn't shave. <laughs> I don't know what we were talking about this today. You know how like you shave before like a hot date? Mm -hmm. You you didn't shave. Oh no. <laughs> um, can we do a, uh, an experiment where we lube up your dome and see how shiny we can get it? <laughs> sure. It would be fun. Dan and a should mail up that dome. I mean, you would need you would need some sort of light source to I bounce have off a, of it. Ian, you know what light source? Yeah, I know. I, I already knew what you were going to suggest. Dude, that would be so awesome. Well, let's say bro. let's save it for oh, let's save Dan, it for get that mayo. a week or two from now, so we don't spoil the, uh, the surprise. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but we're, actually, we're filming our our Halloween special this weekend. That's right. We put a lot of work into this one, a lot of legwork, a lot of planning. We got a permit. We're all good as always. As always. Just like we always do for <laughs> everything that we shoot. That's right. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a fun one. I'm looking forward to it. We got the same ghost hunter, too. God bless her. Uh, and she's bringing a witch with her, right? Or a warlock? Is it a warlock or a witch? It's a witch. And I. Apparently incorrectly, because I asked that when I heard it uh, was a dude, I was like, oh, so a warlock and Cam. Wait, it's a guy? Yeah. That's a warlock. That's what I thought. Cam, do you want to fill us in? I don't know. When I was in college, I knew a lot of Wicca people, and they said that it's still a witch if it's a man, too. What's a warlock? An oath breaker of a coven, according There's to no such some, thing as a coin you know, what? strange folks that I used to roll with, but I don't know. Well, they would know, I guess. Their ass is... Maybe, maybe I know somebody out Wait, there. Wait, I just def I just looked up warlock. It mm -hmm. says a man who practices witchcraft. See, that's what I was always told, and I I remember in middle school. I'm wearing a Salem shirt Car right now. Carla, I, I think I'm the authority. Carla this. and Veronica, the two witch girls that I knew in middle school, told me that a male witch is a warlock, and I have always you're right, just gone though. with that. But I so. went to witch college, so you're just you're. See, I was only in middle, middle school. school. You're right. Yeah, this is the Car Carla and Veronica might stuff. have been wrong. Well, it says a witch is a female equivalent of a warlock. And then here it says, how do warlocks get their power? Warlocks in this world, uh, they get it through the influence of some supernatural being, such as a demon or a fae. So that's interesting. Mm. No? Watch that demon that die. That's interesting. I just want you guys to know. So anyway, back to uh, the Golden Dome. 97.32% on that Golden Dome <laughs> ratio. Wow. Uh, the cue ball strength, 10? That's one of the... They says, how much does it look like a cue ball? That seems kind of insensitive. Was that one of the real metrics on the on the official one? Or is this that is just from a their goof? website. Right. Oh, right. I forgot this is 298 official. IQ. That's Holy impossible. Holy shit. There's no way your IQ is that high. It, says, it said it on Yahoo News, It's dude. scientifically proven, bro. It's on Yahoo News. Diamond standard height to width comparative scale. Well, scientifically proven, you have a 9.98 out of 10 hot, bald dome, everybody. So, damn. Wow. Actually. Wow. I'm one. humbled. I'm, I'm totally I'm flabbergasted. He's number one, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, fun times. Boy. Cue ball strength. Does that literally mean that you could, like, bounce a billiard ball off? Somebody's head. You want to find out? <laughs> Just throw it at me. Fuck it. Chuck it full strength at me. Yeah, I'm just so anyway. BTS is sad and unfortunate. Tragic. Leaving my friendships behind. <laughs> and uh, if I miss them, man. It's just not fair. It's just not fair. Uh, we got to talk about Kanye and we got to talk about. Uh, Poot Lovato. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I really want to talk about Dearborn because everyone on the subreddit was saying, why did you erase this banger tweet, people were saying. And it was about this video from Dearborn. That's where you're from, eh, AB? Yeah, me and Lena are from Dearborn. Wow. So does this video surprise you? Yes, it, it did. Okay. Yeah. So what about it surprised you? Just you didn't think people were this fucking crazy there? 
Yeah, I didn't think because you know we're used to the media misrepresenting us, and there is a group of people there without getting too into it that do have pure intentions, but clearly majority who are holding up these signs are clearly like homophobic and transphobic, which is just insane to me. Yes, yeah, so there was a group of Muslims and Christians that locked hands in holy uh, collaboration to protest gay people. It's so. interfaith outreach. This is a good thing, you know? It's nice that they find common ground Absolutely. At, at long last. <laughs> they went to a school board meeting and protested that there were too many gay books. There were six specific books, I believe. Yep. Which are, like, super normal. They're not, like, weird at all. I, was, I wasn't familiar with all of them, but some of them on the list I was familiar with, and I was baffled by... So I looked into the books, and there are some that are very explicit that some parents are there for actual young kids, but I think it's completely fine for high school. You know? This is about right. a high school? or Well, no, some uh, parents are claiming that their kids found these books, and they're as young as nine years old. Okay. But yeah, I think... What does it have, like, graphic sexual depiction? Yeah, sexual depiction, yeah. But clearly, majority of the people okay. there with That's... the signs and stuff are not... They don't care about the, the sexual stuff. It's... I mean, I, I don't know that I want my nine-year-old finding a big old fucking picture of a cock. I just... Yeah. No, it's not like that. It's just like... So one of the books is the novel The Lovely Bones, mm -hmm. which people are probably familiar with. It was a very popular one when I was in school, I remember. And... Um, that one uh, has uh, depictions of a sexual assault in it. Pretty graphic. Well, and and that's the thing is it, not all of these are books that have like gay content. It's just any sort of sexual content, and this whatever is, the context. This is for high school students to read. I'm assuming. Right, and so that's the thing is I you know they're, they're claiming that these are in like an elementary school but i i don't really believe that because i don't and if they were that seems like a mistake because yeah i don't see a fourth grader reading the lovely bones yeah what they're saying <laughs> is like these kids have access to these books because they're on the shelves in their school library right so it's not even like so like as of you're right not now, even necessarily yeah. going to as of right now no one can check out these books because they're under review I said explicit. I meant explicit. I know Lena always corrects me. I always pronounce it wrong. I'm from Dearborn. See, we Wait. know what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> what did you say to me instead of? I said explicit instead of explicit. explicit. Yeah. I'm not the only idiot here now. No, am no, I? I always mispronounce. Yeah. There's dozens of us here. X X X Tassion. <laughs> <laughs> so here, anyway, this is the book. Like, it's a it's a novel. Uh, it's got 2.2 million reviews. It's like a. Well, yeah, it's a very famous it, one, but uh, there it is. Um, so here is them at the uh, school board. It's nice to see people come together, isn't it? It was a low energy chant that dipped off way too soon. It's pathetic. These protesters are sad. Wait, this doesn't look that bad. Wasn't there crazier videos in this? Mm. I saw even crazier videos. Or like, what's the one that I... What's the one that I tweeted here? Radio Geneva or whatever the fuck. This is the same one. That's the link? Yeah, that's the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, here's some photos from it as well, but... I don't know. I just I do hate though all the people that they keep showing uh, in the news articles. I won't say names for my family safety, but the usual suspects are in every article, and people in our hometown know that kind of the local idiots. So you know that some of the people in these videos. I know a lot of people in these. <laughs> really? Videos. Yeah. Yeah. On both sides of the people on the school board, I know. I know people in the audience. Yeah. Uh, here's some photos from the meeting. Let's see. Keep your... Let's read some of these signs. Keep your dirty books on the closet. On the, in, in the, the closet. closet. Yeah. Is that a gay... Is that a slur? Yep. Wow. In a book? Yep, yep, yep. Wowee. That's a crazy sign. Yeah. If, democr if democracy... Damn, I really want to read it, but... If democracy... 
made were fuck i can't read it Bind. here go down it says it, it shows in the next photo okay great if democracy matters we're the majority uh where in dearborn <laughs> in the dearborn bubble I mean, that's why they think they're okay to say all this shit. Yeah, but there's also laws, bitch, that you can't, like, discriminate against gay people. You know, you also live in a country. Well, they're arguing that protecting their children, that's what they're using to hide behind. Keep your dirty books in the closet. Don't say it. I don't know what that one is. What does that one say? Who it Enjoy it while it lasts. What the fuck does that mean? I don't know, but whoever wrote these signs wrote all of them with the same markers. For sure. And just <laughs> passed them good out. Point. Oh, whatever happened to the good old days? Who made who made that? Yeah, what I happened know. to the good old days That's after just Yeah, Dearborn, what happened to the good old days after 9-11 where you know Muslim women were being punched in the fucking head for just wearing a scarf? Yeah, and the FBI was tapping tricking uh, <laughs> tricking people with mental disabilities into trying to bomb things and arrest them. Man, what happened to the good old days? The good old days. When you could just, like, lock a woman in your house. You know, what's sad is a lot of people who are part of the gay community probably moved to Dearborn thinking they would be more open-minded, being that we are a community who's been discriminated against for so long. So, yeah, sad. What happened to the good old days, boy? Man? We used to eat asbestos for breakfast. Mm-hmm. Them's was the good old days, brother. I tell you what, man, ain't nothing like lead in a beverage. Mm-hmm. That's a good old days, boy. Oh, yeah. Mm. yee Ooh-wee. Man, back in the good old days, I could just... I could just hang a gay person. Ain't nobody care. Ooh-wee. Them's the good old days. Yeah. Brother and sister want to make love? <laughs> now them gays be holding hands? Mm-mm. If you go down, they get even worse. Keep your dairy book in the closet. This guy's getting a lot of play time. Do you know this guy, dude? No, I don't know that one. Aw, uh, that'd be funny if you did. I know some people standing around him. <laughs> you want to call anyone out? Nope. Who's this guy, bro? That's, uh, Haas Cash. Is that his name? That's what he goes by, yeah. Haas Cash? Yeah. And I, he... don't, I don't know him personally. <laughs> what the fuck? He looks like a mean ass. A mean ass mofo. Gay hating. There are two things you need to know about me. I'm a Christian and I hate gays. I felt worthless. <laughs> Whatever happened to normal books? The irony <laughs> is killing me. <laughs> what are you talking about? In a book? Personally, what? this drives me insane because, like, my father has fought for, like, uh, against discrimination towards Arabs. My uncle has. Like, th their whole lives have been dedicated to that and being part of organizations. And it's like, the media always tries to paint us as fucking, like, barbarians. And they do this shit. And it just undermines everything we work for. And, you know, half these people are fucking barbaric if they're able to, you know, treat another community like that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel better, I see the, the Christian Americans doing this shit way more often. Yeah. Although the media loves a na loves a mean Arab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. There's more of a level of responsibility, I feel like. We should know better by now. Well, that's the thing. Fundamental uh, religion, fuck your brain up, man. No matter who you are. What happened to normal books like the Koran? And the Bible? Them's the only books Nothing I sexual had. in those, right? <laughs> Them the only... <laughs> yeah. Ain't nobody, the only book I got in the classroom is the Bible. In fact, Hallelujah. nobody was ever raped or killed in the Bible. Yeah, no. This is the blood of God. Now that's a good wholesome book right there, boy. Yeah. I tell you what, man, one of them stories there, a man, f f there's some really so fucked up stories, dude. And it gets muddy What, isn't there a story there where a dude like fucks his wife's sister or something? I'll tell you, man, there's a good old family value like that, bro. Adult incest. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy it while it lasts. That's so ominous. Is that a threat? I don't get it. 
Bad books equal evil ideas, disease, depression, suicide. Say no to evil with many colors. What? Leviticus. Oh, yeah. What, that's a real story, right? You must not take a woman in marriage and then marry her sister as a rival wife while she is still alive to have sexual intercourse with her. Dot, dot, dot. Yes, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> there, read further. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yo, man, there's a story here. Man fucks his wife and her sister. It's a fucking, it's a good one, boy. Brother mm -hmm. and sister want to make love. Lamech took unto him two wives. The name of the one was Ada, and the name of the other was Zilla. Mm hmm. Zilla? <laughs> Zilla. Mm hmm. She made me come about a zillion times. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we called her Zilla. That was perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Good old fashioned family <clears throat> values. There's uh, kids holding up a sign that says, Stop confusing us. Luckily, this child is wearing. <laughs> luckily, this this child is covered up, but I, felt, I feel I so know, bad for the other like kids whose parents put me. these fucked up signs in their hands that aren't covered up, and that's going to follow them for the rest of their lives. That they were. I hope not. I hope not. Yeah, yeah, at least. But it's just funny. Stop confusing us. Well, the world is confusing at that age. Huh? Sorry to say. Wow, some of these are good. Oh, Lena, can you read the Arabic? I think Lena's not there right now. Oh dang. Adultery, big sin. Homosexuality, big sin. Marriage <laughs> phenomenon between man and woman. I oh. felt gay. Oh, there, there, there was no, there, there, there's no conclusion on that one. <laughs> they just state it. Innate <laughs> sexual desire between man and woman. All divine religions are against this kind of relationship. Why? What book are they talking about? All divine religions. I find it so funny that they're talking about books. Books are known to be the biggest medium right now. Not the internet, not phones. Yeah, worry about yeah. your kids on fucking TikTok. <laughs> Don't worry about a fucking these library. Books are having yeah. a moment right now? Dude, y'all really yeah. think these kids are going to the library? <laughs> like, That's the cannot, biggest delusion. You can't even stand for probably like 0.1% of media consumption at this point. <laughs> Meanwhile, your kids are like on Pornhub watching like- Yeah, Pornhub. exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dad, I see my- Dad! I, I seen a man prolapse on TikTok. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no penis oh. bother me, boy. You ever heard of Howie Mandel? She stop grooming our kids. They says. Let me just say, a lot of people in Dearborn are actually working and not taking part in this shit. Not a lot of people believe this. Right. And there are a group of people there who sincerely are just again like they they through one reason or another have just heard that there's these dirty books they've just seen the passages and they are just concerned with their kids reading something fucked up unfortunately you have all these people with their signs and all their madness that are making the media and uh it's sad you have to be a fucking idiot to think the whole town's comprised of these people i mean when do you ever think that about anywhere there's always crazy ass people it has 110,000 people living there you know there's a room of like 100 people by the way, uh, just to back you up, baby. Uh, by the way, Moses told us that if a man dies without having children, his brother must fuck that uh, widow and have kids in his stead. Oh, that's a good family value. Can I get a... That's right, and that is why the most pious holy man in America is Hunter Biden. Oh, exactly that. that Hunter Biden, no Jesus like nobody else, man. <laughs> I never felt close to God when I was fucking a prostitute high on meth with a gun at her head. Oh, that's a give you a kick. Oh, Jesus. I found Jesus in that moment, boy. Somebody in the chat is asking AB if those are the same friends that were into Andrew Tate. <laughs> no, my friends are too fucking dumb to even go to a meeting. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> they're not, they're, they're too disinterested. <laughs> they're too disinterested. They're just, they're, yeah. Because that would have been a beautiful irony, but yeah, yeah I guess not. Uh, not y'all need, y'all need family men like Andrew Tate leading these here courses. Mm hmm. Anyway, so I tweeted this out. I said, Christians, Muslims hating gay people. Because I was touched by the, um, unity. Yeah, the solidarity. I yeah. thought it was very nice. Turns out we have more in common than we have different. <laughs> exactly. And, well, and then so my initial thought 
is I was like, mm, I wonder how's that tweet doing? And I went back and I was like, oh, man, man why, why am I even bothering? Like, why am I on Twitter? I was like, I go, are people mad about this? And I says, why do I even fucking care, dude? Why am I even on this stupid ass app? Like me tweeting, it's just, it's literally a liability. It does nothing for me except stress me out mm -hmm. and potentially ruin my fucking life. So I said, fuck that, I'm just, I'm out. I do that all the time now. Whenever I tweet a meme or try to make a joke, I, five minutes later I go, why am I doing this? I'm out. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not, if you're a famous person, you shouldn't even be using Twitter, period. Yeah. It's a God liability. Agree. Done. End. I'm out. God I'm agree. out on social media. Instagram, out. I use them. <laughs> TikTok, out. For the most part. We stream on TikTok <laughs> five days a week. I well, use them, but I'm Four out. days a week. Here's the thing. If you want to know my opinion, I'm here talking 12 plus hours every fucking week. You know what yeah. I mean? If you want to know what I have to say about this, come here so that you can't get a little bite of me so you can parade me around like, oh, I hate Muslims or I hate Christians or whatever the fuck you want to say. Just come listen and then, you know, you can learn that I do hate Muslims and Christians, but with more elaboration. <laughs> with more nuance. Yeah. Not a a B, you know what I mean, right? Yeah, not not all of them. Not you. Not, yeah. Organized religion. You're a good one. You're one of the good ones. Mm. <laughs> well, that's phrasing it a little weird. <laughs> That's a weird phrase. <laughs> no, you, You're trying, you got to make me forced to say something here. But you know, like, you know, I've got, I want to make jokes that are so fucked up. <laughs> Please don't. It's rewind <laughs> For both time. our sake. Yeah, well, I'm Jewish and I'm, I'm a uh, secular. So one of the bad the ones. Jews? Is what oh, you're saying. Well, according to Trump and Kanye. Yeah. I'm one of the bad ones. Speaking of which, nice segue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, we do want to talk about, um, we do want to, there's a lot of religious stuff today. We have the Hocus Pocus 2. <laughs> oh, this shit's fucking good. The Hocus Pocus 2 <laughs> hysteria, because maybe that's a, a good segue. That is also a good segue. It. That also works. Texas mom went viral on social media for warning parents that watching the new Hocus Pocus 2 film can open the gates of hell into their families. And the best part, her name was Jamie Gooch. <laughs> Gooch. That's right. Her name is Gooch. Mm-hmm. Texas mom spoke to a news station. Here's Mrs. Yeehaw! Gooch. Bro, I was just laughing the fact her name is Gooch, bro. Mother of three <laughs> and free thinker Jamie Gooch. She's a free thinker. Gooch. How's your name? Gooch. Gooch. That's like having the last name be like... Taint? Well, yeah, I mean, Andrew Taint <laughs> basically does have that. That's like having a last name like, uh, Butthole. <laughs> I don't know. Sphincter. Ethan Butthole. Oh, uh, Ethan Sphincter here. I had an uncle named Gooch growing up. Gucci, my boy, dap Wait. me up. You knew a Gooch? My, yeah, he's a rapper. He wasn't my actual uncle. He was just my dad's friend. But I always called him Uncle Gooch. But he's a rapper. His name was Gooch. His first name was Gooch. Gooch. Yeah. Oh, that was his. I don't know if that was his real name or his rap name. But I always just knew him as Uncle Gooch. <laughs> I didn't know That's what Gooch meant until I was like a lot older. It's almost worse. <laughs> yeah, he chose Gooch. Is weird. Yeah. yeah that is he did, He was born into the Gooch life. <laughs> Gooch family. Thank you, by the way. Family values are Saudi benefactor, fifty gifted. Yes. What a guy. What a yes. guy. Yes. <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> Thank you to all the members, by the way, who are... Thank you, thank you. You guys make all the difference in the Look program. at all these beautiful members getting gifted right now. Look at that. Tomorrow morning, new podcast for members, isn't it? You're in. You 50 lucky people, you. So, anyway, let's get to Jamie Gooch, who's warning Gooch. parents everywhere about the <laughs> danger of letting your children watch Hocus Pocus 2. A movie about the harvesting of the impurity of children's souls. Is that what it's about? Yeah. Probably. Wait, what is Pocus <laughs> Pocus 2 about? Can so, I get a synopsis on this? So, oh, do you, no, do you know I, the original? Did, I, like, did you grow no, up with the original? No. It's, no? Mm -mm. it's about these three witches in Salem. and uh, Shout out Salem. Yeah. Shout out Back Salem. In the day, they, go ahead, Zach. You may be more familiar with that. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, so it's his favorite movie, he All time said. favorite movie. So, the second one is like, it's like younger version, these high school kids, and somehow they get brought back to life because of this black flame candle 
and it's like her 16th birthday, and it, it comes to life. So wait, hold on. Okay, These were what. witches that were killed in Salem? Correct, yeah. So they were right. The Salem guys were really killing witches. They had it fucking come in the In the <laughs> Hocus Pocus cinematic universe... Yes, I the, love the that. that the, I yeah. love that. The totally justified but, <laughs> I love Salem that. witch trials, a hundred percent justified. Yeah, you remember that horrific uh, tragedy where pe- innocent women were being burned and thrown in wells? Well, they were right. Yeah, they, they should have burned the second <laughs> movie because it was fucking dog shit. It was. Oh, off. It was wow. Back okay, so so basically, these witches get resurrected, and it's just a. These, yeah, these ki- these kids light this candle and bring them back modern day by accident, and a virgin has to light the candle, and that's part of the whole conspiracy that this is somehow. So a virgin has to light the candle. Yeah, right. And a kid yeah. lights it. But yeah, he's like, well, he's like eighteen or something, Zach. Well, the, yeah, oh, okay, the, the okay. girl she gets like like swindled into it. Like, it'd be kind of weird one. if like a five year old's lighting that shit. Well, that no, was the no, first no. one. And then it and then it doesn't light. <laughs> You're like. <laughs> You and just wrote a new movie, and then it turns into a whole different movie. Whoa! Whoa! It just turns into I a want to see that courtroom drama for the second for the back half. You're like, yo, we need to talk to the babysitter. We need oh to... no! What the fuck? Hocus pocus, huh? Okay, so they come. So are the witches evil or good? They're they they're, they're evil. evil. They, yeah. they oh they, they eat children basically. Like they suck. Oh, okay, their okay, so out. okay, okay, interesting. So they're evil or not? Yeah, they're evil. <laughs> so they got the right ones back in Salem. <laughs> but wait, is it a comedy or like? Yeah. It's, it's, like it's a yeah. it's, it's, it's a Disney it's, kids. All of this movie. makes it sound it's way musical. darker and more serious than it is. It's a very like goofy, lighthearted. Yeah. It's like, like a magical. Wow, you got kids virgin movie. children lighting candles. The virgin and the evil ass witches weird. eating yeah. kids. They they act like the Three Stooges too. It's, it's like a it's a groomer movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's wicked a good movie. productions. I've never seen it to be. It's a broomer movie. Broomer. The first one is is a great movie. Yeah, it's it's like Halloween Town. Really? Maybe I should watch it with the. You think it's too crazy for Theodore? Maybe a little bit. Maybe if he gets a little older. When did yeah. the original it come out? It's on Disney 90 Channel. Focus like, there is some yeah. concepts yeah. that are too old for Theodore. So the original came Jurassic out in Park 1993. Theodore. I was six years old, and I got scared in the theater when I saw it with my mom and started crying, and she oh. made and she took me out. So oh. okay, so. that was at six. I okay. was negative seven at that time. <laughs> <laughs> you were in the void. I was. <laughs> I was in the metaverse. With or without legs? Without. It was pre yeah, pre legs. Pre- Somebody else oh. said my six year old loves it, so I was just a little pussy. That's so embarrassing. Pussy. You're Dan. being a gooch, so Dan. That you're being a I was gooch. always I, I got scared of a lot of movies when I was a kid. Shit. And it's gooch. funny because I, I I'm very not affected by horror movies nowadays. But when I was a kid I was like so scared of anything even remotely scary. Uh this person, Wicked Good Production, said here in Virginia, there's a city called Goochland. <laughs> <laughs> Shout Gooch out! Land. Shout out to Goochland! Shout out Gooch Goochland, Family everybody! Farms. Hey, everybody! Shout out to Goochland, Virginia! Gooch Family Farms. Gooch Family Farm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Come on down here now. Check out my Gooch down at Gooch Family Farms. Okay, so Hocus Pocus two. It's been 29 years since someone lit the black flame candle and resurrected the 17th century Sanderson sisters. And they are looking for revenge. Now it's up to three high school students to stop the ravenous whores from wreaking a new kind of havoc on Salem before these bitch ass witches fucking eat kids. And there's like so like non subtle like ad placement in the movie. Oh, They're like let's go to Walgreens. I hate that. That's like my pet peeve in movies. I fucking hate that. Okay, so here it is. Enough setup. So here's the Gooch. Here's Gooch's take on it. Scenario is that you unleash hell on your kids let's go and in your home jamie gooch is a mother of three and the owner i was laughing the first time I saw <laughs> that. as soon as i opened it I was jamie just... gooch jamie gooch. gooch jamie butthole jamie gooch in your home jamie gooch is a mother of three and the owner of gooch family farms in troy <laughs> I love and everything to do more. with house and home i believe everything starts here this time of year fall harvest is heavily celebrated in their household but halloween is not it grieves me the thought of exposing our kids 
to darkness. Gooch says there's a spiritual war being waged against homes in America. True. And Hollywood is part of the problem. And right now, one film in particular. The whole movie is based on witches harvesting children for blood sacrifices. In a recent Facebook post. I was a little bit scared when I hit post because I was afraid of the reaction that I would get. Why Gooch advises moms against letting their kids watch Hocus real slow Pocus 2. I believe whatever comes in our TV screens, there are things attached to that. Wait, I have seen for she myself. believes everything she's on TV? That is dangerous. You need to get, you need to get rid of your TV, idiot. <laughs> that's, a, that's our biggest fear, isn't it? I believe whatever comes in our TV screens, there are things attached. What did you just say? Okay. <laughs> you know, what I did think about when I was watching this movie, just side note, Sarah Jessica Parker, who's one of the witches, it's wild that like 10 years ago, there was like some list that named her the most unsexy person in the world or Who something, or the that? ugliest so woman mean. in the world. It's so fucked up. Wait, what? they made a list what? of unsexy it was, people? It was a maximum. People were unbelievable. Yeah, maximum. Maxim. People were always super mean to her. What right, I fuck? heard the horse face thing a lot. Yeah. But why would you make a list to do that? So fucked Wait, up. Wait, can you pull that up? It was like a published list. Sorry if I'm making noise in the mic. Like, Unsexiest woman alive. Uh, let's see. Gooch. Why the fuck would you print that? That's wild. They're wild for that one. Who, who's the editor? Keemstar? <laughs> Thanks, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a list of ten ugly fucking people. <laughs> At the top of the list comes in. Jessica Parker. Boy, she's ugly. Maxim. Okay. I'm not finding the original, but I'm finding a lot of other articles talking about it. Um, Maybe they took it down because yeah, they got a bunch of shit or something. Yeah, that does not age well. Maxim Magazine Poll named her the unsexiest woman alive. Unsexy. Don't call her Jessica. Don't call her Sarah Jessica ugly. Uh... Sex in the City star just Sarah Jessica Parker says a Maxim Magazine poll that named wow, her. Cl Clement popped off with that opening line, man. Uh, they were really mm -hmm. they were patting themselves on the back. Uh, named her the unsexiest woman alive. Really, really upset her. Wow, how sensitive. <laughs> what a bitch. What an idiot loser. <laughs> Am I really the unsexiest woman in the world, Parker asked. Wow, it's kind of shocking. Parker said the poll released last October was brutal and filled with rage and anger. But on the other hand, she added, I really like the choices I've made. I am who I am. I love how she's trying, she has to justify her existence because people said she's ugly. I like the choices I've made. I don't care that you, it's like, what? Dude, the next line, that really just goes to show where, where we were as a society at the time. I'm telling you, man, we are making progress. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it. Yeah. The poll ranked Parker less sexy than Amy Winehouse. Sandra O, oh, Madonna, Britney Spears, and the, and called the 43-year-old actress a Barbaro-faced broad? What's a Barbaro-faced? Read the next A reference to the Kentucky Derby winning racehorse. Dude. Parker also said the dubious honor hurt her husband, Matthew Broddick's feelings. It upset him because he has to do do with the judgment too. Can you imagine you're just living your life and people are f hating you because you're ugly? Yo, be prettier, loser. It's crazy. So fucking insane. My this, God. This is, the, this is the world we were living in not too long ago. It's really true. Someone commented that on my photo yesterday. What? Right <laughs> what did they say? No, people will be like, ugly. I will be like, That's okay, crazy. restrict. First of all, but were Fuck you? that person. Yeah. <laughs> right. But like Maxim Magazine doing an article. That's so that's hurtful. psycho shit. At least you weren't rated ugly. Also, don't, don't love that um, the husband is like, I have to deal with the judgment of having an ugly wife. Nah. Yeah, that's weird. Nah. Yeah. It's like people rated my wife ugly. That sucks. Yeah. That, that like, sucks for me. <laughs> yeah, that's for true. Me. <laughs> I mean, if you're, um, yeah, I mean, as we've learned from me, having an ugly wife is kind of like, as a man, kind of the worst thing you could do in life. You both, know? Your, both your wives can, uh, related to uh, horses, 
They call horses. Oh. That's true. Me and Matthew have a lot in common like that. You know, some say you both killed together. somebody in Ireland. Mm-hmm. You both uh, mm-hmm. did he kill someone? <laughs> yeah, that ruined my whole fucking childhood. Wait, what, the, the what the fuck did he do? <laughs> he, fucking he was in a head-on car accident that I believe he caused, uh, and the person in the other car died. Did he just bail? I don't remember the details of the story, but uh, man, I think he went back to Pride Rock and like Rod place. Rick. There was a story I it's read, the, like the second thing when you type his name, car accident is the third suggestion. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Roger drove down a straight road. He crashed uh, into a vehicle containing uh, two local women. The locals died. Oh, he killed two people. Well, were they ugly? Or, <laughs> well, what did they look? Uh, yeah, I mean, how how pretty were they? I need to know if point. I need to be upset That's about point. Or not. Is if they were pretty. Oh, the no. the victims. Okay, so one of the victims was sixty three. So I mean, odds uh, are. Come on, I mean, you bump are. a curb, she died. Yeah. Oh, but the other one. Oh, the other one was only 28, so... Who, which one died, though? They both died. Oh, 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 that's what I'm Matthew. saying. Yeah, so. Was he drunk or something? Well, not officially. And did he get charged, or did he just bail? After the incident, Broderick took a month to recover. Many in Ireland were upset that he got off by paying a $175 fine and returned What's to the United $5? States when he paid his bail of $4,000... <laughs> He was not charged with vehicular manslaughter and was left only a note saying he was sorry to the relatives of the deceased. He, he didn't pay for David. their funeral or anything? <laughs> he worked with David. Yo, he only paid a $175 fee? Listen, all that is horrible, <laughs> but that's why he gave an amazing performance at Lion King. You know that scene where Freaky, uh, Freaky is telling him the past can't hurt, but you could learn from it? That was real acting on his part. Wow, he was, he was, when he was, all he was drawing about it. from that. Yeah. 175 that's a good deal, kind of. <laughs> that's less than my speeding ticket. That's wrong. a bargain, Shit. dude. That's kind of a good deal, man. Well, this was yeah. in the '80s, I think. So you know, Ireland's fire that. like that. They don't have any taxes. So how much is that yeah. a person that he? Had yeah, to pay? seventy-five divided by two. Yeah, how much is that? Uh, it's like eighty-five bucks. Eighty-five. Mm, too bad. Eighty-five. Well, the, so again, if I knew how attractive they were, I could tell if that was a good deal or not, but. Yeah, I mean, he might have paid more for the prettier one and That's less for the... So it might not be half-half. <laughs> I think no. over 60, it's free. It's like, eh. Yeah, true. Take Do us all a favor, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Here, uh, by the way, Jessica Parker says... Well, this is interesting, because her husband murdered... Or, I'm not going to say murder, but... He killed two women in Ireland, man. And, uh... Didn't even pay for their funeral, huh? <laughs> Just a little note? Just a little bit of a note, huh? Like 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 he hit like he bumped her car and My bad. Off. No, you leave a <laughs> note on the windshield. <laughs> My bad. Uh sorry. Yeah, and he goes, he's like, yo, I'm so sorry that I killed your mom and sister. But uh, in my defense, I did catch a look at them before the impact, and they're kind of not that good looking. So sorry, whatever. Not beautiful. <laughs> not bit, sorry, <laughs> not beautiful. Okay, here's an update. After years of therapy, Broderick decided to meet with the family of the two women he killed in the accident in 2002. Daughtry's son and Gallagher's brother; those were the two that were killed. Um, said that while he still grieves the loss of his mother and sister, he knows Broderick did not kill them deliberately. So all's well that ends well. Like. Guess, I mean, there are two people dead, but. Uh, uh, anyway, back to Sarah Jessica Parker. She says, "Do I have big fake boobs, Botox, and big lips?" No, Parker said. Do I fit some ideal and sta- ideals and standards of some men writing in a men's magazine? Maybe not. I love that she has to justify her existence because people think she's not pretty. Amazing. This woman is Carrie fucking Bradshaw. Yeah, I mean, she's a huge city. star. It's like, it's like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, no, she's a huge star. I mean, she was a big. People call the most beautiful people in the world ugly, but if e- they get the chance e- to be mean. So Just, true, Queen. She, she is very so pretty, true. but but e- what if she wasn't? <laughs> no, <laughs> like, straight it's so, up. So Who fucked? cares? Either way, yeah, it's so fucked. I, well, I think it just goes to show that people like when you're calling someone who's objectively beautiful ugly, mm-hmm. it just shows how little credibility you have. Like mm-hmm. you're just calling anyone ugly. You're just a piece mm-hmm. of shit. Uh, yo, family, how do I get about buying an ad buy for my company's website? I think you just <laughs> did. I'm getting ready to launch. I would love to hook the whole crew up with a care package. Uh, thank you for the donation. 
there is a work with h3 email on or work with h3 at gmail.com is how mm -hmm. thank you Did. fit thank you for the get Did. thank you for the get Did. <laughs> anyway, back to the gooch. Patch to that. I've seen for myself the things that I've watched with my eyes or heard over a TV screen. They become manifested in, in real life. Everybody thinks it's fake and innocent, but they could be casting any type of spell that they want to. Anything could be coming through that TV screen into your home. We have to steal their souls. She says most of the feedback <laughs> okay. has been positive, but she knows her opinion isn't for everyone. And that's okay. She says it's healthy to stir up conversations, just not cauldrons. How do you feel? Ah. How do you respond to people who are going to say, you're crazy? It's just a movie. It's all in good fun. It, it has been and always has been. Then the post was not for you. The post was that's for people response. that have been on the fence on, on the de decisions they need to make for their family. Mm -hmm. While Gucci's opinion may not be the most fun, she says <laughs> if putting it out there changes even one person's what? mind, it was worth Is it. This? I think like... at the end of the day, I want people to walk away with discernment. If you, you're watching this, just start thinking. Start thinking for yourself and even <laughs> overthink and consider all the options of what you're partaking in. in I want you to think about all the options. And by the way, only one damn book belonged to this school. It's the Bible. I was just blown away by how this film looks. <laughs> I'm done with the gooch. <laughs> I appreciate what you Consider your options, Ethan. Gooch. You thought you were just sitting down to watch a children's movie. But had you considered that it is actually an occult spell being cast on you? Just consider the option that that might be what's going on. Through the TV. Through the television. Is she from Dearborn? I think if you believe that, you might be schizophrenic. Like what you just described. Just like, <laughs> like if you think the television is talking to you and casting evil spells on you. Yeah. I think that's like. That's some poltergeist that's, shit, dude. <laughs> that's like. That's like. Well, she's just, you know, she's just, You're who's to say, solutions. that's your opinion, that's her opinion, who's to say which is, is While best, Gucci's you know? opinion may not be the most fun. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> this, 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 come on, Gooch, lighten up. Gooch. I'm just in disbelief that a Facebook rant turned into a That's what I'm article. saying. Like, like local <laughs> annoying woman posts insane rant on Facebook. Get the team out to her house, stat. De-platform her. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how many likes did her Facebook post have? Let's see. Here's the post. Gooch. Gooch. Let's see, Gooch. Let's see how many people you reached with this banger. Oh, they cut it out. <sighs> Jamie Gooch is a Jamie local Gooch. wacko. Gooch she advises mom. <laughs> well, there it is. Uh, Gooch Family Farms. The Gooch Family Farms. Come down to Gooch Family Farms and take a look at our Gooches. We got the best Gooches in town, boy. <laughs> Ooh. We shave Gooch. our gooches down. We like to deliver a nice, smooth gooch. A nice, ripe, smooth gooch that you could just bury your face in. Gooch Family we Farms. We got, at, down here at Gooch Family Farm, we wash our gooch so there's no smell on it. Mm-hmm. Jamie Gooch. <laughs> Ooh, we growing the finest gooches out here at Gooch Family Farm. Gooch. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we like to pick our gooches. And mash them up into a jam. And spread it all over me. We got weights and fish! <laughs> mm-hmm. Woo-wee! Come on down here to Gooch Farms now. Mm-hmm. Gooch advises moms. <laughs> it may not be the funnest, but it is a nice clean gooch. Adult incest. We like to keep our gooch farm clean. Brother and sister want to make love. <laughs> uh, there it is. Okay, thank you. There it is. Everything. Okay, let's talk about Kanye. We're actually going to try to just get to everything here. Kanye West is. I think it's time to say bye bye to Kanye. I think he has officially. See y'all, partners. Uh, fallen <laughs> into the deep end. Like, he would he would go, like, in and out, in and out, and then he'd, like, get help and take his meds or something, and then he'd be fine for a minute. I think he's gone. He gone. I think he's in the Mariana Trench. He's like, 
He's just got sucked under, man. My beautiful, dark, twisted fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the mole people respect a good gooch. Mad respect from Rory Hicks. Are you a mole person? Rory? I think he is. Based off of his profile picture. I think he donated about the mole people before. Yeah. yeah. So shout out, Rory. Shout okay. Out. We're making inroads in the mole community. I mean, you're... This is a new demo for us. I'll take a mo I'll take a mo to my gooch bar. Ooh. Yeah, so Kanye, I I mean, on one hand I feel bad because he is mentally ill and he's getting Candace Owen, who's one of the most legendary right wing grifters. I mean, this woman is so vile. She has a she has a death black soul. I mean, she is just Straight-up evil, vile, disgusting. I can't express how gross she is. She made a video called The Greatest Lie Ever Sold about the Black Lives Movement, um, in which she repeats this claim that George Floyd died of an overdose. Which is, like, so weird. It's like, we've, it's on video. Uh, how are they still trying to push this thing? It's crazy, isn't it? Damn. <laughs> yeah. And so Kanye's become besties with Candace Owen. She was the one that was wearing the White Lives Matter shirt with him. Yo, I think the beard is fuck. He once he shaves, I think he'll be maybe be better. <laughs> I think I just get the beard. The beard is infecting his mind. Mm. You know. Um, I can't see. I think maybe she blocked me. Is this a Candace Owen tweet? Uh, let me check. Uh, oh, let me check. I'm blocked. Who is this? Kirko? What did I do? I don't even know who the fuck you are. <laughs> oh, wait. No, it's the podcast. He blocked, they the, blocked podcast. the podcast. Okay. Interesting. I see you, Kirko. What is Kirko? What's a Kirko? Hip hop and leak culture content. What the fuck did we do to you? <laughs> I don't know. Is it a big account? Hassan follows them. Anthony Fantano follows them. <laughs> Why did they block the podcast? That's fucking weird. Let me see if they block my personal, because then you know it's personal. Pull out. Let's see. Kirko. All right, the verdict is, are we blocked by Kirko? This is Kirko Media, and I am blocked. Here we go. What did I do to them? What, did I, what have I done to deserve this disrespect? Wow. Kirko, you come to me on this day. <laughs> I'm not going to do it right now. But you know where it's going. You can fill in the blanks. You know where it's going. Yeah. <laughs> you said a disrespect. You don't need me to. Wow. After four years. Um, finally got to the point where it's like, yada, yada. We can yada, yada the Godfather bit. <laughs> Imagine yeah, in you, your head. How it would <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've all heard it a thousand times. Check out some previous H3 podcast yeah. episodes. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. Oh, Sam Harris, this related. He just tweeted out. Kanye may be bipolar, but he's also spreading dangerous bigotry to an enormous audience. It's despicable. If you can't say that in plain English, you've lost the plot. It's very true. So, okay, so Kanye's besties with Candy. Clan Ma Clandis Owens. <laughs> All right. Candies. I, I watched the George Floyd. Candies nuts! <laughs> Let's go, dude. Can these nuts fit in your... Oh, I don't want to get too vulgar. It's all right. We get it. <laughs> uh, so Kanye is, starts repeating points made by Candace that George Floyd actually died of an overdose and, and pre-existing conditions and not from a police officer shoving his knee in his neck for 10 plus minutes as he says he can't breathe. Is this the clip you sent me, A.B.? Yeah. Thanks. Floyd documentary that Candace Owens put up. One of the things that his two roommates said was, they want a tall guy like me. They want a tall guy like me. And the day when he died, he said a prayer for, you know, eight minutes. Mm -hmm. 
He said a prayer for eight minutes. What? They hit him with the fentanyl. If you look, the, the guy's knee wasn't even on his neck like that. Oh, my God. Have, have you looked? It, it, what? How can they even create? It's incredible how they create this alternate universe in front of our plain eyes. We all saw that video. Mm -hmm. Like, it's so plain to see. He said, Mama, Mama his, is his girlfriend. They said he screamed for his mama. Mama was. <laughs> what the fuck is this psycho fantasy? Mama's his girlfriend, not his mama, so he wasn't dying. Like, what? It's his girlfriend. It's in the documentary. But something that hit me that fucked me up when I was watching the documentary, and it said they want a tall guy like me. When I looked at that image of him, this tall black dude with the bald head, he reminded me of somebody else. Who do you think he reminded me of? Virgil. He reminded me of Virgil. What? You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna cry in front of y'all because that's how they get me, right? All right. But I know that we lost him. And I know that this white company, Louis Vuitton, is now making statues of him, like as a martyr. Um, yeah, he, yeah, he, he's an insane person. He, he's insane. <laughs> I mean, what can you say about it? But yeah, at a certain point, it's like, okay, he's insane, but he's also now, like Sam Harris said, actually saying shit that's really fucked up. And people are listening. Kanye also goes on to spew out more anti-Semitic comments, saying that Jewish people made their money because they were lawyers and could divorce people. I never heard that one. That's interesting. The one I always hear is that they could loan out money because Christians weren't allowed to loan money back in the day. I mean, that was true back a long hundreds of years ago. Uh, we made the White Lives Matter tease. Well, well, according to Kanye. This is why Jews are, are Jews. rich, which I guess includes me. And then when I put up the, the tweet, the DEFCON tweet, <laughs> now nah, he, ain't, he ain't releasing the tea because mm. he's Jewish. Mm. And I'm like, see, this is my exact point that I'm mm. making. Mm. Like Jewish people have owned the black voice, mm. whether it's through us wearing a Ralph Lauren shirt or it's all of us being signed to a record label or having a Jewish manager or being signed to a Jew You can choose your manager, you know that? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like your manager just magically appears and some Jew is managing you. Just saying. Jewish basketball team or mm -hmm. doing a movie on a Jewish platform like Disney. <laughs> Disney's a Jewish platform. Walt <laughs> might have had a thing or two to say about that, given the rumors about uh, his... Views as Disney's Pinocchio, as this. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Th I mean, it's super anti-Semitic. Obviously, the uh, Jewish people are not a monolith. Okay, and there's now a conspiracy. Obviously, I don't know anything. I and just referring to things as Jewish industries is like it just it plays into the trope that there's like a cabal of Jewish people that controls the world, right? Which is you know what Hitler said, and it. uh you know, it comes before violence. It's a horrible, uh, violent stereotype. And we understand it's like, I, I respect what the Jew, Jewish people have done and how they brought their people together. Mm -hmm. You know, they came into money uh, through the lawyers mm -hmm. when, uh, after Wall Street, when, um, when all of the um, like the Catholics, they wouldn't they wouldn't divorce people. Right. So the right. Jewish lawyers came and they were willing to divorce people. That's when they first came <laughs> into their money. How much <laughs> money did these lawyers make? What the fuck? But I, also, what, what, like, it's just a barrage of unrelated words in that sentence. You gotta love the guys interviewing him. What did too. the Wall Street, what did Wall Street have to do with? Wall Street. The Jews, no, they are all on Wall. They get divorced on Wall Street. <laughs> right, they like lines of people. It's just your divorce, your divorce. Check, <laughs> check, check. They line up. It's just like a Hasid guy, and he's just, <laughs> he's just one by one. Um, I haven't seen any of that divorce money. So, again, and he's not even talking about like this was like what on Wall Street. So it wasn't that long ago. Jewish people came well, up. Big. He's just conflating a bunch of shit. Uh, he's got. 
some people around him. I don't know who. Maybe it's Candace, Candace. Or, or or others uh, that are, you know, repeating a lot of these age-old stereotypes and bigotry uh, against Jewish people. And the dude's brain is fucking applesauce, and so he can't even, like... He doesn't even know the conspiracies that he's talking about. Like, that, that proves it. What he just said right. made no fucking sense, and it was like... It's like twenty percent of three different anti-Semitic conspiracy it's theories. It's like a kind of choose your together. own adventure of anti-Semitic yes. <laughs> uh, conspiracies. Well, Candace Owen also works for the Daily Wire. That's and right. He's apparently getting all this fun anti-Semitism from her. It seems like, and they just love it. Ben Shapiro, ben Shapiro, it. bring it, baby. Orthodox Jew. Mmm. One of the good ones. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> If they're, if, God, got another fucked up joke I wanted to say. Easy, Tiger. <laughs> no, Zach, <laughs> cut the timpani. Oh shit. Type it. I prefer really not. I was to just gonna say, if there's another to... Holocaust and people start oh, rounding boy. up uh. the Jews, this I just say, if we they start rounding up the Jews again, I hope Ben gets first or last. Jesus. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. Out the rails if I speak, Wednesday, I'm in, in big Wednesday. trouble. Can I not say that? Yes! In you big can't. trouble. Oh my god. I, what You're am I gonna- I want today. What am I gonna- I can't- I'm not doing anything. I'm part of the- I'm getting too, Dan. I'm inside your walls, Ben. Do you think it would be more justice if he got first or last? <laughs> Decline to comment. <laughs> Dan, thoughts? It's fine. I can move on. It's fine. Um, I am Jewish, by the way. <laughs> Just for the record. Putting that out 99. there. Nine point seven percent Ashkenazi Jew, bitch. Nobody can even step to me. I am the king of the Jews. Jesus ain't no king. I'm the king. Clip that, bitch. You thought you were born. You're you're afraid of gas. I was born in the gas. Like Bane. Yeah. That's who I am. Funny, so like, say, uh, with me and Jay, with our our culture, with the with the darker Jews. First just, of all, because you gotta. It just happens when anybody start talking deep. Okay. <laughs> Is this deep, bro? I don't know. Yeah, he's, that, gonna, he's going real deep here. <laughs> These guys are such idiots. He's talking to. Kanye also goes on to spew more anti-Semitic. Oh wait, no, that's it. so. Now George Floyd's family is considering suing Kanye, which is actually very, very interesting about the fentanyl claim. Apparently, uh, civil rights attorney Lee Merritt, who represents the Floyd family, said they're considering legal action, a defamation lawsuit. Uh, well, it's not legally possible. Good luck getting a good Jewish lawyer, Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> Auto law. <laughs> Matt said there are other legal avenues to pursue, including the Floyd, Floyd, uh, Floyd family possibly suing for intentional infliction of emotional distress. That is interesting. I'm sure Dershowitz will. <coughs> That's what I was Kanye. thinking. The same <laughs> I'm sure he would. Uh, yeah, <laughs> probably. I was thinking the same as. Kanye's actually a good guy. Mm hmm. Got to find anyone, dude. <laughs> Love that for him. He'll be second. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm trying to prevent it. He's trying to make it happen with his baby. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, Kanye now, and this is where the grift comes in. So Candace Owens' husband owns Parlor, the right wing. Viewers of Leftover will know Parlor from the great content they put out, like um, the Left Camp meme with Benny Johnson. It's a graveyard. There's nobody there. <laughs> no one is on there. It's like the right wing um, Twitter, right? Yeah, except it's it's been supplanted by Truth Social, Trump's thing. So mm, I, I don't think anyone uses Parlor. Here's Parler, the front other page. Other than, as Hassan likes to say, uh, Nazis that, and pedophiles. Yeah, and that's yeah. all that's on there. Oh, Elon Musk tweeted and deleted this? While we were live, yeah. This was Wait it. for it. It's Kanye and wearing, Elon. Yep, he's wearing a parlor shirt, and Elon's wearing a Twitter shirt. And they're doing the fusion dance from Dragon Ball Z. 
I just find it super weird that Kanye is publicly like still hyping up, or Elon still hyping up Kanye in the midst of like his anti-Semitic war path. Like, dude, can you stop being a massive piece of shit, fucking freak for a week? God, I think Elon's got to be one of my top most hated people right now. He's such a douchebag. So he bailed on that, I guess. For now. Yeah, for now. Yeah, so if you go to Parler, if you just want to know how popular this website is, on the front page, the top video has 463 views. Yeah. Crushing. Crushing it. <laughs> this is crazy. What is this place? Good evening, Parler. 430 views. If your views are so low, hide the view count. My Under God. distress. Yes, yeah, so here's where the griff comes in. Candace Owens' husband owns this, and she's managed to convince Kanye to buy it <laughs> for an undisclosed amount of money. Tens and tens, maybe a hundred You know, dollars. fuck Candace Owens, obviously, but I hope they fucking took him for like $250 million. That's, I mean... <laughs> Just selling him nothing. Ugh. I doubt it, but... I mean, at I'm this hoping. point, it's just, it's kind of just a funny, weird spectacle. They just announced it. This deal will change the world. Definitely. And change the way the world thinks about free speech. Mm-hmm. You can say slurs here. <laughs> somebody free said, I speech bet, imagined. Somebody said uh, in the chat, Kuma said, I bet Gooch is on there. I bet you're right. Mm-hmm. I bet you Gooch is on Parlor. Although they might be on True Social. Yeah, actually, probably not. They're probably... Gooch is probably just on Truth Social. Is Truth Social is Truth Social popular? <laughs> it's more popular than Parlor. It's not super popular, but like I don't know. They're you know Trump's posts on there get ten to twenty thousand likes. Yeah, but like people follow it literally just for him. Yeah, and that's why. Kid Rock's got some bangers on there. <laughs> the whole usual suspects. Um. So this deal is changing the world. People are never see free speech again. Uh, Ye is making a groundbreaking move into the free speech media space. And will never have to be fear being removed from social media. Again. Is that why he's doing this? So he's like, I can tweet all the anti-Semitic shit I want on my own platform. And nobody can ban me. Yeah. Well, that's why it's there. I mean, that's literally yeah, yeah. why everybody crying about the First Amendment when they get banned on Twitter <laughs> is full of shit because this this is his right. He can go post all day on Parlor. Yeah, it's fine. Go do it. I mean, have fun. You're going to re revolutionize how free speech is thought. It's great. George is also the husband of Candace Owens. Goes on to say once again, he proves that he is one step ahead of the legacy media narrative. It, it's yay. Yay. He's not. He's yee ye to me. The fuck was that? I don't know. I missed it. Yee. Oh, oh, little yee me. <laughs> like that. Yee. Like that, Ian. S skinned. Parliament Technologies will continue. Blah blah blah. Whatever. Parlor currently ranks 108 for news apps. For news apps. <laughs> That's gotta be as low as it goes. <laughs> How many? You know. Below. Uh, you know, some. Jeremy Renner. Milwaukee local news app. Yeah, exactly. Fox, Fox 8. Fox 8 <laughs> in Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah so I'm Milwaukee fuck Kanye. Milwaukee News, Fox 8. Fuck Kanye, fuck Elon Musk. Fuck him all, dude. <laughs> fuck him. Fuck Ben Shapiro. Fuck Candace Owen. You know? Oh, this, so I think we just have one more story, which is perfect. Oh. We've been going a really long time. Yeah, but we have to do this. Put Lovato. We can't put it off anymore. We can. I, I'm cool. It's waiting. evergreen. We've yeah, been, it's. We've been going for three and yeah. a half hours. Oh, three and a half. Yes. Okay, that, that's a bit. It's a. So. It's a long one. I'm Timeless. ready to keep going, man. I got this. G <laughs> I got this gamer sub coursing through my veins. Bit. I'm ready to keep going, man. <laughs> I love that. I love that Phil is becoming our unwitting <laughs> yeah. representative for gamers. 
He's gonna start hitting me up for a check. I'm gonna say hell no, dude. Hell no. Hey, like, bitch. He like predicted it like two years. You know? <laughs> it was so in the past, awesome. and now it's the future. I love that. People want Poot Lovato, you guys. Yeah, of course they want it, but <laughs> think about yeah. think about your your poor employees. Oh, you guys want to bail? Is that it? I mean, we've been streaming for a long time, baby. Yeah, and I'm the one juicing. performing. We're all participating. Hey. Okay. I've actually burned 21 calories today. Just Wait, sitting there? how do you determine that? It's I based on my age, my, my weight, and my heartbeat. 21's pretty low, my dude. That's definitely not true. Your body burned a lot more than 21 calories while you were sitting there? Because you burn like 2,000 a day. Shit, not me. I just <laughs> sit here all day. I mean, you're, you're not me. I'm built different. <laughs> Your organs work, right? 21. <laughs> 21. Barely. Fuck, Fuck you. People want poot, man. Yeah. People want that pooty tooty fucking juicy. Fresh and fruity. No, we'll save the poot for uh. Thank you. What's it? Oh, Wednesday. We'll be back on on Wednesday. Exactly. Yeah. We got a little. You no, know we got it. Here's what we're gonna do on Tuesday. Or I mean, no, Wednesday. Wednesday. We're gonna lead with poot. You understand? Yes. Poot deserves to be first. We can't put oh this off God. anymore. Crazy. I'm not complaining that we work three and a half hours. Believe it or not, we do things other than when we're live on air. So take a step back, Grazy. Okay? Mm hmm Take a few steps back. Now the guys work a lot. They get here they get here way before the show starts. Yeah, we're here Bang first thing in the morning. Yeah. Watch your fucking mouth, Grazy. And we got we got stuff to do after the show too, so. Right. Right. And then Ethan's out here. Texting at 10, 11 o'clock at night with, we gotta add this. <laughs> yeah, but you don't, I don't expect you to answer me. No, I know. That's what I'm there for. Yeah. I don't sleep, yeah, AB are, uh, that's the only skill I provide. Are insomniac. <laughs> Listen, you need to hire I, someone who doesn't sleep. I'm like always putting Ethan's ideas and 1, 1 a.m. energy. I am up very late and I'm always putting ideas, but I don't expect you guys to see it till the morning. Bind. 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 I love that one. Okay. Being told to check this one. Um, but if you're a member, we will have a episode for members tomorrow. Get inspired. Woohoo! Ethan's inspirational. Uh, we should, uh, we got something we need to address right now. Let me uh, send it to you, Ethan. <laughs> bad? Exactly what I was afraid. Yeah, bad. What? As I predicted, our fans are harassing the wrong person. Wait, but. Well, hold on. Okay, hold on. Yeah, he's so. Okay. Okay, this is good to know. Who is. Wait, is that the guy? I don't even think that's the guy I was showing. This is a random dude. We didn't show anybody, but... It... this I never even thought it was this guy. You guys gotta fucking chill. This dude... Not even... Okay, wait. Send me... Uh, the Insta... Is he the wrestler? Is that who this guy is? Is that the guy who messaged us? No. Okay, you just send me his account. And that's why I was saying, I know you were saying don't do it, but the fucking idiots in our audience are always going to end up doing it, so... and Well, there's so many guys I don't even know who I, what, who I was looking well, for. And that's what I was saying. And that's, <laughs> people are, are dumb. You, if, you, just, if you sent anybody a message about this, you're fucking moron. Oh, his page is... He said, okay, let me look this one up. He told the me... The issue with this is I, that he is a yeah, songwriter, yeah. composer, as you said. Yeah, it's, it's not a musician. We, don't, we don't have no confirmation. Well, we know it's his name, but we don't know who he is. There's like a billion of them. That's why I kept saying it's like an extremely common, it's an extremely common name. And this guy is obviously, he's the puppeteer. He's behind the scenes. He probably, I, he's probably not even on social media. Yeah. If he's just a random guy. Yeah. So guy. you don't need to go out there harassing anyone. Please, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't fuck with him, please. I'm sorry, but you guys, come on. Be smarter than that.
Yeah, go send some love to our boy, the producer. He'll win an Emmy. He's going to win an Emmy someday, I'm sure of it. He's that talented. Good guy. Somebody said he worked with Kenny Beats. He's W as fuck. Oh, well, there you go. Huh. Yeah. Crazy. Sorry about that, dude. But I think... Were people really being like, yo, H3 Podcast sent me or something dumb? Maybe. I mean, how else would he have known to message us? I mean, there's a lot of people talking about this story. Yeah, for sure. But, uh... Oh, we said he may have... Okay, yeah. Okay, anyway. I think we've clarified enough here. Okay. All right. Hey, everybody. Yes, sir. Mm Mm-hmm. And somebody said, we're not all idiots, Dan. Yeah, I know. I, I, assuming you're not one of the people that messaged him. If, if you didn't message anybody, I'm not talking about you. I'm sure it was just like a few dum-dums. Yeah, always. But that's how it goes. Or, you know what? Let's not even say dum-dums. You know, they just got carried away. Their passions. Because they're subbed and, you know, uh, let's, let's not, let's, you know, I don't want to lose you. Okay. Okay. So maybe you just got too passionate. You got a little got caught up in it. Which I totally understand. You know, it's a despicable story. But, um, someone says maybe it was tater tot spamming the wrong Nick on purpose. Conspiracy? <laughs> to frame us, perhaps? <laughs> sure, let's you go know, with that. No, no, I fucked up. Let's go with that. It was, it was definitely me. A Reddit thread led me to the wrong place, and I should not have said his profession when I didn't know for sure. And we didn't know 100%. There it is. Sue Olivia, not me. <laughs> no, I I'm take just kidding. that was in Olivia L and I will live by it I'm for just the rest kidding. of my life. Come on. The the musician, I sincerely apologize. Yeah. That's good. But the the good thing is during that whole time we were kind of I was trying to figure it out, but we were trying we were being very disclaimery about everything. Fat disclaimers, bro. All right, we gotta go. We'll see you guys. So tomorrow for members, a uh, new podcast. Thank you to our wonderful members. Wednesday we'll be back. Opening with Poot Lovato. Should we? Yes. T- title, thumbnail. The whole thing. <laughs> yes. The Poot Special. It'd be kind of fire. <laughs> Low key, like. Three hours of Poot. Poot would get those clicks, I believe. <laughs> All right, guys. See you, uh, see you next time. Have a great week ahead. And we'll be here all week with y'all. So let's do it together. All right.